Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, my friends, to the wonderful game of Diablo 4. Hope you're all having an absolutely wonderful day today, as uh, we are in store for a very enjoyable time all together playing a very, very strange game of Diablo 4. Now, if you've never played a Diablo 4 game before, this is very, very simple. Um, hello, you best all be able to hear me. Uh, I'm using a new... Uh, live in 15 FPS, don't worry, I'm tabbed out of the game. When I tab into the game, the FPS picks up, okay? You, you cheeky bastards, jeez. Um, look, Diablo 4 is a special game. Uh, it's a game where you basically go around and kill enemies, and then when you kill enemies, you get experience. Now, that's great, uh, but, you know, we've got to think about this from the moral, fibrous nature of a British person, which means we've got to be a pacifist. Now, you might think that a pacifist is someone who doesn't take the first punch. Maybe they get, they get punched by an enemy, but they fight back. Now, no, 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 no. I instead prefer the true British pacifist. Now, what is a British pacifist? A British pacifist is someone who manages to prosper through society without having to do any work at all. And in Diablo 4, that means I am going to be the greatest leech that humanity has ever seen and it's going to be glorious. So that's what we're planning to do today. We're going to start a brand new character, go on a brand new game of Diablo 4 together and level up a character to level 20 in one session without me directly killing anyone. To make this easier, I have disabled the ability for me to even attack enemies. Uh, so instead I just stand there and other people will do all of the work for me in one of the greatest and cheesiest visual elements ever recorded in Diablo. It's going to be lovely. Now, of course, if you're feeling especially fantastic, you should, of course, now like the stream or the VOD, whatever you're watching. You must legally do this, else I am sending uh, the creator of this game round to your house. And I say creator of this game because I'm, of course, talking about none other than the one, the only, archdemon and grand villain of Diablo himself. It's Bobby! Oh, Bobby. Now, Bobby, ladies and gentlemen, is a divine being, a divine manifestation of human greed. He is what we are going to be channeling into today's live stream. This man single-handedly manifests all of the greatest British attributes of taking something else that someone has made and sucking all of the money out of it. Now, Bobby is going to be manifesting in this glorious world, and we are going to use his power to devour the universe. Yes. That is our plan, ladies and gentlemen. So, pledge allegiance to Bobby already, for it is too late. He is going, he is going to suck you dry. <laughs> He's going to suck you dry. Actually, I think it's Bobby sucking someone dry might have been in the Blizzard Activision allegations. I don't know. Um, it's hard to say. Anyway, uh, big disclaimer. Personally, I really enjoy this game. I think Diablo 4 is a very, very enjoyable experience. Uh, the management of Blizzard is one of the shadiest games publishing companies in the universe. Uh... So, this is a very strange, conflicting experience. This is probably one of the best game releases of the year for people like myself. But at the same time, it was created by Suckboy here. So it's hard to, it's hard to reach a good judgement. Anyway, back to the game. Welcome. Um, I actually need to leave the game as we need to make a new character, ladies and gentlemen. Because we have to start from scratch. We're not going to be playing as my actual character, Barry Boneboy. Oh wow, FPS is... Feeling funky today. There we go, we back FPS. Yes, we are. Right. Create a new character. We are, of course, going to be playing as a necromancer. No, FPS is still feeling funky. Well, I mean, that's less of a problem because at the end of the day... Oh, wait, no, the actual FPS on the stream is fine. It's just my preview FPS is lower. 
Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Right, okay, right. Select Necromancer. Look, I'm using a new streaming software. I'm not used to it. Um, now, of course, we have to play a Necromancer because... It, look, you're a scion of the undead. I'm not saying that Bobby is an undead being, but that man does not have a living soul. So uh, instead, we need to create Bobby. Um, actually, can I just let me quickly bring up his face again so I can be reminded what he looks like. Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. I mean, this guy's this guy's not too far off, although Bobby doesn't really have a beard. So let me quickly just fix all of that. Facial hair. Uh, no facial hair. There we go. Jeez, God, he looks really grumpy. Uh, face variations. Fucking hell. God, what what an upset upset being. That's all I can say. Anyway, bright red eyes. It's got to be um, accessories. I don't really think he has any accessories because that would involve him having a soul. Um, instead, we can just go for something like that. Jewelry. Is that just like big stacks of cash? Is that like an option? Just like a whole bunch of gold attached to him? No? Okay, right. It's going to be neutral. That's fine. Um, undead boy. Yep, he's going to be perfect. Right. Uh, I suppose I should actually do his head hair. Does Bobby have head hair? I mean, he doesn't need it. I mean, let's be real. It's it's probably... he's He's definitely had some work done. I, I won't lie. He's had some work done. So, um, this is going to be Bobby after he's been caught in a hurricane and it's all flown off. Uh, so that's fine. <laughs> right, he's, he's lovely. Also, thank you very much uh, to uh, wonderful, lovely Chris Campbell for your very generous gifted memberships, you lovely majestic sausage. Right, onwards. We need to create our character. Now, we can create a character that is hardcore. We're not going to do that. Um, in, I mean, there is currently a race where if you create a character who is hardcore um, and you reach level 100 first, you actually do win a prize, uh, but there's literally no reason, absolutely no reason to play hardcore. Uh, there's a few bugs and glitches in this game, which means you can lose a character that's hardcore. It's, you know, what can you do? It's a game release. Uh, yeah, there's already some sad stories of people getting up to, like, level 60 after 16 hours of play and then just losing their character. Anyway, Bobby Bone is going to be created. Uh, we're going to be playing on a World Tier 2 because it gives us 20% extra experience. This is very useful and important. But from here on out, ladies and gentlemen, the rules are simple. I cannot directly kill an enemy. God, I thought the game just crashed there. It went all white, but no. Welcome to um, the cutscene. Uh, the story for this is pretty good, so consequently, I'm going to skip most of it, um, because there's a chance some of you want to play it, and that should be allowed. Right, anyway, I am now in the game, and apparently I should find shelter before I freeze. Um, I should do more than that. I now need to actually have people come and save me. So, luckily to have people come and save me, we have a shit game crash. Game crash? Application ran into an unexpected error. To help us identify the problem, please describe what you were doing. I was playing the bloody game. Thank you. Reopen. There we go. I don't know, that's the first crash I've personally experienced with this game, but you never know. It's, um, I, I guess you could call it early access. <laughs> I mean, it's. It's like, um, it's kind of early access, I guess. It, it releases in 56 hours. Does that class as early access? I don't know. How, who, who am I to judge? $100 game. Yeah, I think it's about £70 um, for that brilliant start. I hope you enjoyed the character creator. That was a great experience. Um, please make sure to give a like uh, to the live stream so that way the developers know that they created a very good character creating experience or is this just because i named my character bobby is this just like punishment oh my god create new oh yes bobby bone did survive there we go bobby bone the eternal all right let's load on in come on load on in bobby bone a paid beta uh no this is actually a paid paid closed what would what would be after a beta because we've got an alpha, beta, 
what is it? Is it Charlie? It Alpha Beta. What Charlie? Yeah, this is actually a this is a closed Charlie test um, for people who paid ninety nine dollars. Anyway, welcome into the game. Uh, Pacifist crashes the game. Who could have expected such a thing? Um, right, I need to basically invite someone to come and save me. And I think one of the best ways for me to do that is to find Connor Brow here and invite him to my party. Problem in sending party invite code. Can I click request to join party? That'll do. I will instead request to join his party. Much simpler. You're about to be transferred to the party leader's world. Begin. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just bypassed the tutorial, hopefully. Or moved slightly further along in the tutorial, which is what I think has happened. Yep, I've loaded in. Uh, warning, your party campaign state does not match with the party leader's blah 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 blah. Does not matter. I need to pick up my first skill. Here is where you pick your first uh, damaging ability. It can either be reaping, decomposing, hemorrhage, or bone splinters. Uh, bone splinters is by far the most powerful, uh, but it doesn't matter because I have Whoa. unbound the attack key, so it is meaningless. Absolutely meaningless. Um... That's what we like to see. Uh, next up, Connor Brow. I'm going to need you, Connor, to add some of the people in the guild as a friend, if that's okay. Also, you need to accept the clan invitation. Um, that would be very useful. Do 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 do. So once you're in the clan, Connor, I can promote you, and then you need to add probably some people who are like 32 and 36, some nice high-level people. Uh, as they're going to be able to... Actually, why don't I just join them? Yeah, let me just quickly... Accept Stranger's Friend Request. That'll be fine. Here we go. I'm Woosh. He's 41. I will just request to join his party. This'll, this'll be fine. Oh, wait. I guess I have to leave the party I'm currently in. Uh, accept. Right. I've left the party. This will move me around a bit. Don't worry. Uh, look, the reasoning is simple. Connor Brow, he's just not a high enough level, okay? He's a hes a good boy, but he's hes not the high enough level. Whereas, instead, I'm Woosh here. Request to join party. Unable to join the party because you've not yet completed the prologue. Seriously? Oh, yes, I guess I have to... I do have to run through the prologue. Fine. Connor, I will join your party instead. <sighs> annoying. How annoying. Connor, you will have to host this party for me, and it just means it will be slightly slower than I wanted, which I'm okay with, but at the same time, I like a pace to my cheese. Uh, did Connor Brow actually join the... He did, right. I can now promote him. Promote, you are now a member, and then I can promote, you are now an officer. Right, transfer to Connor's world. <sighs> You're not tall enough to ride this ride. You can uh, bypass this, but you have to technically finish the game's storyline, if I remember correctly. Oh, this isn't just joined here. Perfect. This will do nicely. Fantastic. Um, right, so it is now a case of we follow Connor around as he does his quests, and hopefully my goal is to hit level 20 as soon as possible. Uh, so, Connor, you may that now begin. Not bad. Oh yes, we've got an emotes wheel, I forget. So we can just do... Your bones betray you. <laughs> Your they bones betray you? Me. That's pretty good, I like that. Oh dear. Right, so we now have a, a full squad. We've got Connor Brow, Bonk, and uh, Dizen, and of course me, Bobby Bone. Uh, which means we're in a fantastic position to now beeline our way through the main quest series. Uh, so, Connor Brow... You should now be ready to Greetings. continue the quest. We have to search the depths of ice hole ruins. A nice simple process. Uh, now, there will be potentially some enemies nearby. Um, like, oh, this polar bear, for example. Uh, don't worry. I just have to not be near it. Um, please, friends, I can't fight the polar bear. I can't. You, you have to fight the polar bear for me. Oh, fine. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. Ah, <laughs> Why did they... They should have killed the polar bear for me. Why is Bonk... Why can he spin so fast? What a speedy boy. 
Right, anyway, um, we are just here as like an observation uh, force. Um, we're kind of like the United Nations uh, peacekeeping party. Look, there's some fighting going on over there between some skeletons. Now, that's enough to give us some experience. Um, so, we haven't actually killed anything yet, but we're, we've almost leveled up. That's pretty nice. And, um, oh, there we go. We're almost at level two. Lovely jubbly. Here we go. Oh, some shoes. Nice. I could, could do some shoes, I guess. Oh, there we go. More fighting. And there we go. Level two. Fantastic. I will sink some points into, um... Uh, enhanced bone splinters. Ooh, spooky. Spooky. Oh, let me get some more gold. And onwards we go. Oh, there's some fighting going on in here. Whew. Exciting. Uh, you know, I'm just going to stand outside of the room. Now, the most important bar in this game is this level up bar here. So, uh, I'm kind of a little bit away from my friends, but it's okay. Because they're about to go into this room and deal with the uh, boss of the game. Uh, which isn't something that I need to do. They can just kind of deal with all of that on my behalf. Alright, onwards you go, guys. Go and go and fight the boss. I'm just going to stand outside here. Uh, I mean, do you guys want to see the boss? You don't have to. I'm just like in the managerial position here of this whole expedition. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like literally just two rooms away, but somehow Bobby is innately gaining power from his minions doing all of the labor for him. There we go, level three. Um, what do we want to go for? Uh, your maximum essence is increased by three. Oh, imperfectly balanced. That sounds like me. Yeah, that sounds like me. I am imperfectly balanced. Lovely jubbly. Right, onwards we go. Got to pick up my gold. I can't forget my shares in all of this. Mmm, loot. Lovely, tasty loot. Ah, fantastic stuff. Right. Oh, oh, there's some enemies. Don't want to fight those. Ah, that one's on me. Just do a little dodge. And look at my lovely warriors go. Such brave and beautiful boys. So efficient. So manly. 1.1k <laughs> likes now? Oh, thank you very much, guys. Make sure to give it a like. After all, this is exactly how the developers intended you to play the game. Come on, guys. You're doing great. Let me let me hit you with a... I appreciate that. Oh, wait. Now I should do a cheer. Well done. well done, guys. There you go. Don't you just feel empowered? That, was that wasn't bad, guys. You're doing brilliant. You're doing great. Fantastic. Oh, look at these splendid, splendid fighters. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We got some grumpy boys. Oh, Connor's now hit level four. Nice for him. Um, I mean, he has been fighting. I haven't. He's gaming so hard right now. Look, this is... This is peak gaming. Do, 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 do. Oh, uh, technically I can also raise, raise the undead to fight for me. I mean, I guess that's another aspect of Bobby Bones' managerial prowess is he can convert those that once were his enemies into, you know, now his servants, which he siphons more power off of. Ow! Stop fighting me, pleb! Don't you know who I am? I'm in management. I can't even punch you. Ow! Stop punching me! <laughs> oh, do I have to go back to my workers because I need, I need the protection that they provide. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, look, a bunch of skeletons have spawned on my behalf. Lovely. Well, I guess they can fight the boss. There's the boss. Um, I mean, I'm not going to. You guys can fight the boss if you want, you know. No, nope. okay, I guess my skeletons are just in kind of like a support vibe today. That's fine. No pressure. No pressure, gamers. Anyway, where's our big boss? Oh, there he is. There he is. Uh, let me hit him with a... Let me hit him with a big old cheer. You're doing great, guys. I believe in you. Impressive. It is impressive what they're doing. Very impressive. And look, even my, my bone boys are helping distract a bit, which is nice. I suppose I can resurrect some more bone boys to act as cannon fodder. Lovely stuff. Ah, yes. This is this is what it must feel like to run a, a billion dollar company, which you didn't do anything to really help create other than just have a lot of money. Um, but I guess that's all you need. Look at this. Fantastic work. 
Good job, Connor. Look at him go. He's got a big old hammer on his back, but he appears to be using a tiny sword. I'm not too sure what that's about. Oh, and he almost died. Almost died. Don't die, Connor. That would be very awkward. You have no idea how much paperwork we have to fill out every time one of the workers dies. And there we go. Level four. Splendid. I will pick up all of this lovely loot. Um, wonderful stuff. Uh, do, 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 All right, I guess up the, uh, up the rope we go. Now, I don't get any rewards for completing these quests, I don't think, because I've already done these quests, which is fine. I can't even break these containers, um, unless I, like, power slide into them, I guess. Oh, and I forget, I've got a perk point to invest. Um, let's pick up Imperfectly Balanced. There we go. Oh, Connor Brow is initiating content that requires the full party. I'm here. I'm here. Accept. Interact. Okay, so we now have a cutscene. I'm going to skip it. Uh, because that's critical law. Um, that's very important law. And I will stand here and watch as everyone does all the fighting again. Splendid work, everyone. Splendid work. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff indeed. Oh, money. Right. Just got to walk around Stannis. Hi, Stannis. Don't mind me. My, my bone boy should handle most of this. Lovely jubbly. Oh, lovely. They're a bit weird. That was all of them. Light willing. Right. I played a uh, Necro a while back and it was super tanky. Yeah, Necro in Diablo 4 uh, appears to be relatively more tanky than it normally is, um, which is pretty good. Madman. Right, skip. Come on, someone has to open the door. Which one of you? Op oh, he opened the he opens the door. There we go. Um, quest reward. Yeah, no reward as you have completed this quest or or are not yet eligible. Oh, well, I guess maybe I'm not yet eligible because I didn't do the prologue. Ah, who knows? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm here for the experience. Is this real? Right, skip. No critical law. Bad, no critical law. You came to thank the light. But if your bony boy kills, doesn't that count as yours? Um, no, because... I'm I'm just their manager, okay? Look, if I owned a company and my company had employees and they killed people, yes, I might be Pablo Escobar, but is it Bobby's fault? At the end of the day, Bobby has done everything he can to support and nurture people in not just their life care, but also their post-life care. And that's what Bobby's here for. He's here to help. Probably. Um... I mean, not really. Uh, in in reality, he's just gonna like steal your grandma from her grave uh, slash resting place. All right, which way do we need to go? I think it's this way, isn't it? Yeah, it is this way. We right, Conorbrow, lead the way to the hermit's cabin. I I desire more levels. Also, don't forget to tap the statue. There's a big statue over here. Interact with the statue. There you go. Good job. Good job. Well done, Conorbrow. Oh, and also, there's a cellar. Don't forget the cellar, Connor Brow. It's over here, and it's fun. Look, come back, Connor. Okay, no, he's, he's been distracted by fighting wargs. That's fine. They give experience too, so that's that's all okay. Connor, where are you going? Okay, he's been distracted. He's been distracted by this. This tower, which gives him blast wave. I mean, I can't activate that because I might accidentally kill someone. That's kind of a workplace safety hazard. Uh, but, you know, he can do that. That's okay. Oh, jeez. There we go. Lots of lovely money. Back we go. Oh, look, a horse. All right, Connor, into... Into the cellar. Come on. You know you want to. There's there's often loot in here. Slash, it just has some enemies in a densely located position, which hopefully these guys can just clear out. So, yeah, I will stand here... Run around in circles. You're doing great, guys. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Keep working that. Yeah, hammer time. Woo. Are you feeling empowered yet? I feel like you should be. 
feel like you should be feeling really empowered. Not bad. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Oh my goodness. Alright, you've almost done it, guys. You've almost beaten him. There you go, you did. And that means I'm almost at level 5. So that's lovely. Wonderful stuff. Uh, Spiff's 103 days legendary survival Skyrim when? Uh, a good... A good question. Um, the answer is... One day. Um, in the relatively distant future. Um, I can't give away what the Skyrim video we're working on is. But it's not too far off that. Uh, the Spiffing Bard. I don't think I qualify as a bard because bards do actually provide generally meaningful impacts and effects. Whereas I am providing nothing uh, beyond just my my sheer magnificent presence. Now, best of all, whilst just walking through here, um, these guys can just actually run around this map and just get kills for me. So, like... Dizrin can go down there and just solo all of those spiders. Each spider he kills is a little bit of experience for me. I could just run in the opposite direction and avoid all of this confrontation. There we go. Ooh. Gotta accept that we go to Connor Brown now, even though I hit level 5. Lovely stuff. Um, so I am now the same level as Connor Brown, despite the fact that Connor has punched a bunch of people. I will now uh, give myself some more levels. Uh, do, 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 do. More imperfectly balanced. Now, interestingly, uh, playing in a party is horrifically advantageous uh, for several reasons. Oh, beans, the cutscene. Skip. Um, the main one being that you can. Do, 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 do. Uh, the main one being that you get additional experience, which is basically like an extra 10% experience, which is very good. Uh, and then you can use that to stack with other modifiers like elixirs and generally very, very powerful indeed. Uh, Null Voided says, don't need to pay your workers a living wage if they're not alive. Spiff the Necromancer. This is true and this is the uh, advice we live by um, over here at Blizzard. Uh, Bone Boys Interactive actually. Sorry, yes, uh, the clan is the Bone Boys. Message of the day, cowabunga. <laughs> Forgot I said it to that. Um... <laughs> Oh god. Ooh! Berries! Berries are good. We can use berries to make potions, and potions equals experience. Right, you guys are doing great fighting. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, guys. Yeah! Woo! Feel empowered. You're doing great. You're doing splendidly, actually. Connor Brown's doing great as well over there. Look at him fight away like an absolute hero. Real, real challenger over there. I hope he didn't pick druid i'm not too sure what class i think that's barbarian i could be wrong uh the druid for some reason in this game just sucks uh like it's not enjoyable it's like a worse necromancer um not that the necromancer's faring too well at the moment it receives some nerfs after the beta which is sadly um sadly not being uh not being changed which is a shame uh, is this stream pre-recorded? Yes, this stream is pre-recorded. Uh, for example, you can tell by the fact that if you put a message in the chat, I pre... an a Well, an AI realized you would send that message out many years ago uh, when I actually made this video, and it will appear in this pre-recorded video. That's exactly how it works. Uh, that moment when you're watching Spiff play instead of actually playing, and he's playing the same character you would be playing, forever love Spiff. Look, this is the only viable character. Also, check out my experience. 2320. Now, currently in the top right, you'll see there's a mini map with red dots. Uh, those are our lovely party members fighting, uh, fighting enemies on our behalf. We are not nearby, but they're doing brilliant work, fighting away. Yeah, you guys keep crushing it, gamers. You're doing brilliant. Oh, yeah, thank you for all of this loving experience. Gosh, they are just running away. Wow. Feeble little potato guys. Ooh, Orvain. I, oh, yes, I have to interact with it. Oh, I just realized why I wasn't picking up loot. I need to press F to interact with it. Oh, yes, because I unbound my um, interaction key. That makes so much more sense. Right, I can give myself better loot. Um, although I don't really know what loot I would need. Let me just raise some skellies. Wee Skelly raising. 
Oh, short sword. Now that. I mean, actually, short swords do damage. I don't need to do damage. All right, what's this? Yeah, Statue. Don't skip. Don't need this. Do 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 That's do do. Shot lies just ahead. Over to Giovashad we go. Uh, in Diablo 2, Druid is really weak, not worth it compared to the Paladin or Necromancer. Yeah, I think that's one of the issues that this um, this game finds itself in, is that all of the, uh, some of the classes feel very powerful and fun, and some of them just really struggle in certain sections of the game. Um, the Druid is one that is just really not enjoyable in the early game, which is not how it should be. You want it so that all classes are kind of fun, no matter what stage of the game you're at. Anyway, we need to go all the way over here to blah blah blah. Uh, Kyovshad. Kyovshad. That's the one. To enter the city, you must blah 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 blah. Yeah, we've got to basically go light a candle. Um, it's fine. Do 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 do. Skip conversation. Burn my sin. What is my sin? Well, I mean, Bobby has no sin, but um, maybe greed? <laughs> Maybe greed? No, nah, I don't know. I don't know. You you make up your own decision. Would be welcome. <laughs> there we go. Um, oh, got a got a join card, bro. Uh, and which means I think I have to speak with the guard. Do 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 do. There we go. My sins have been lifted, which means we can now march into the city. Uh, Stephen Ben, uh, one hundred and eighty, donated ten dollars. Say I just got. Uh, got here for this live, but it looks great. Uh, though the rule reminded me to get more tea. My failing there. Thank you, Spiff, and please take care. Yes, you so, must remember to get tea. What did you write? Very what critical. Did you write? Very, very critical. Something about greed or gluttony, perhaps. Well, crap tools. Sway back. Right. Now I have to go Probably speak with a merchant. Although, realistically, Connor has to do it. I don't think I have to do anything. That's kind of on him. Oh, wow, look at all of these portals. Teleport. Oh, I can just teleport to Connor Brow from here. That's pretty fun. Um, right, Connor, after we do these quests, we're going to have to switch to doing dungeons because the quests just ain't going to level us fast enough. Alright, let me buy this buy this thing. There we go. Oh, yep. Yeah. And then there's also another thing. Blah, 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 blah. Critical law. Critical deep gamer law. Alright, there you go. I my allies must be here. Oh, I need my entire party here in order to do that. That's fine. Shame it's not Bob the Barbarian. Look, even though it would have made sense to play something like a rogue because they're faster, and that would have meant I could move around quicker. No. Also, I need to change my wheel. Um, I need... Uh, oh, apologies. critical law. Skip. Skip more critical law. Um, right, customize. I need to change cheer. Uh, yeah, let's change cheer to this one here. Save changes. So this should mean that I can now well just done. do this. That yes, I can do this over and over again. Bad. Lovely. Um, oh, yes. Right. Uh, so we've got to do some uh, some dungeons now. As it makes the most sense. Now, what is a dungeon? They are basically these things here. Uh, well, you can go into them. They're quite easy. They level scale, which is very enjoyable. It means it doesn't matter where your friends are. You can all play together. Um, so, basically, Connor Brown, it's on you. Pick a dungeon. Um, there we go. Uh, I mean, there are... I think there's a dungeon here as well. And there's a dungeon over here. And there's a dungeon here. So, our closest one is probably about here. Um... But I could be wrong. Uh, it, I did the dungeon like yesterday, so who knows? I maybe I'm correct. So far, though, uh, considering we are only what thirty minutes in, I'd say five levels is pretty good. But we're largely being bogged down by slow story. Um, I mean, Connor, do you do you just want to follow me? That could work. Um, Oh, no, nope, he's picked. We're going. We're going, gamers. Okay, no, nope, he's decided to follow me instead. Right, lovely. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, some are class locked. Uh, no, the rewards for the dungeons are basically class locked. 
So if you complete the dungeon, you could get, say, a... Here we go. Yes, Barb Elixir craft. Oh, perfect balance. Wonderful. Perfect balance. Yes, I know. I know. Right. Um, I need to actually quickly go to my stash and grab my supply of potions that I, I put in there for no particular reason. Um, but then we're going to go to a dungeon. Um, but yes, as far as I'm aware, basically completing the dungeon can give you something relevant to your class, which you can apply to your armor, which is very nice, but we don't care about that. We just care about our potions. So let me grab this. Let me grab this. Uh, did I only make those potions? Okay, yeah, they're the only ones I have lying around. Okay, that's fine. That's all I need. I need more time. Okay, so over to the dungeons we go. Go, Spiff, go. Don't worry, Spiff is going, chat. Spiff is indeed going. We are now wibbling at a high speed. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So we are now out here in the wilderness. Oh, wait, I realize I do actually need party members with me um, because without them... Okay, I think this is the dungeon I was thinking about. Yeah, it's not too far away. Um, because without them, I can potentially die, which is a, a problem. Um... Where is Connor? Oh, the TP in the middle, sir. I'm a potato. I am a potato. Yes. Okay. Shh. We don't. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that, Bonk. Don't judge me, Bonk. God damn it. <laughs> uh, do 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 do. Over to Connor Brow. That's way faster. Jeez. If the skeletons decide to kill things on their own, then it's not Spiff's fault. It's not, but also the odds of the skeletons killing something is incredibly low. Um, right, here we go. We're going into the 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 asylum here. Yes. Ooh, spooky bones. Bones. There's more illicit boning going on here than the Blizzard H. Oh, that's too soon. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know what is wrong with game developer companies, but like... Some of the work environments that I hear about are just literally the worst. Like, I don't even know how game companies even make anything, given some of the <laughs> environments they create. Anyway, I need to um, chug my consumable. There we go. This gives me an extra 5% experience, which stacks with the 10% experience we get for being in a party. So, yes, we just walk around, harvest our experience. Oh, this door. Hmm. Curious. Curious door. Funky. I like that. Right. Oh, Connor Brown just got bonked there. Oh, and in fact, I'm getting bonked in the back by these phantoms. Ooh, spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Let me just quickly harvest all the gold that got left on the ground. Can't forget about that. Lovely jubbly. And through here we go. Okay, so we have to activate two gate winches. That's what we have to do in this dungeon. We around I go in circles, helping out the team. Really, I'm a team player. Yes, that's what I mean. My skeletons help distract. My friends do all the work. But Bobby the Bone is here to pwn. And by pwn, I mean just do pretty much nothing other than observe from a close proximity. Potentially, so that he can, you know, micromanage. Work harder. Work harder, plebs. Do it. Bobby is about to hit level six. He desires prowess. Mark, thank you very much for 17 dollaroos. Uh, yay, I finally caught one of your streams. Welcome, Mark. Thank you very much for catching one of the streams. The streams are currently in a state of upheaval because Mango is redoing all of my stream assets, which is why we have this new fancy stream setup that I hope you like the look of. Um, it's quite fun. I personally really enjoy it. Oh, money, money, money. Floor money. Speaking of floor money, um, I mean, this is just alleged, but apparently a Blizzard employee was let go from their job because they made all of the uh, dialogue lines for the loot goblins, which are like goblins with loot on their back that if they try and run away and they're very greedy, um, but if you kill them, you get all of their loot. Uh, apparently he wrote all of the voice lines to be similar to that of Bobby's evil maniacal CEO kind of character 
and the result was he lost his job. <laughs> but you know what? I personally appreciate your grand sacrifice to the uh, cause of memory. That was very good. All right, I need to level up. Um, imperfectly balanced again. There we go. So what we're going to want to get next is uh, spiked armor. This just gives us fawns for existing, which means in the unlikely event an enemy does hit us, they will take damage in self-defense. Um, that's uh, that's how we like it. This game seems very optimized. Low classic blizz, top-notch quality. Um, I mean, honestly, the game runs surprisingly well. I have turned down the graphics. It runs a smooth, perfect 60 FPS on Ultra for me, but then again, I am running a 30 series, so not exactly the average user experience. Ooh, what's this? A wand? I mean, I might as well. Do 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 do. Oh, what's this? Conduit shrine. Oh, can't use that. Might accidentally kill someone. That's dangerous. All right, there we go. Bunch of loot. Through here we go. We've activated one of the winches. That oh, a protection shrine I can use. This protects me from enemies, and that's self-defense. But I don't really need it. Um, right, here we go. Just loiter here, men. You're doing a splendid job. Splendid job, men. Uh, it's lagging on stream pretty hard. Is it? Oh. Oh, I guess it is a bit funky. Oh. Ah. Strange. Uh, the, I think it must be like my my OBS. Yeah, my OBS says it's outputting 30 FPS. That does seem strange. I'm getting a smooth 60s, so once again, I'm using a new um, a new streaming setup, so what can you do? What can you do? It's just uh, my own encoder settings, I guess. Save changes. Please do not crash the game. Nope, that worked fine. Lovely. Oh, yay! Play-Doh game! Ah, yes. Uh, okay, that appears to have returned us to 60 FPS. Fine. Okay, I guess... Um, I, I have no explanation. <laughs> I have absolutely no understanding as to why... Why the uh, OBS now suddenly believes this is acceptable. But fine. Each to their own. It serves me right for trying to make changes on the fly without experimenting. It's stuttering a lot. God damn it. <sighs> you try. You try sometimes. I'm just here to observe. I'm here to observe, not to even play the game. I don't even need the FPS. This could be a... This could be a text-to-speech document. Text-to-speech document. That doesn't make sense. Right. Open the door. Where is door? I guess we're about to find out as these people run the dungeon for me. Oh, also, level 7. Right. Uh, that means... Um, increase life of your skeletal warriors? Nope. Let's gain some spiked armor. There we go. Oh, grab that gold. Wait, where did they go? Oh, they went this way. Lovely. Chase my boys. Got to chase the boys. There we go. They're doing some great fighting down here. In the haunted cell block. Splendid stuff, guys. Keep going, gamers. You're doing brilliantly. Look at them go. Ow. I also forgot to say that uh, technically you can also... Um, we also get an additional 20 experience because we're playing on a World Tier 2 server. Um, which is very nice. If I were to... Hmm. I wonder if there's anything else I can do to increase my, my like, output FPS. <sighs> because I don't know why I'm just so bad at streaming. Like... It makes no sense as to why I am as bad as I am. Like, OBS is using, only using 4.9% of my CPU. It doesn't make sense that it isn't able to stream at 60 FPS. Oh well. Oh well. What can you do? It's only, you know, a, a video game and my own personal abilities to play a video game. 
Uh, let me quickly uh, chug one of my potions. Don't want to accidentally die. That would be awkward. Right, good job. Good job, men. You're doing splendidly. Oh. That one was painful. Oh, look at me. Look at me go. Woo. <laughs> they see me rolling. They hating. Nobody can stop the Bobby boning. Nobody stop Bobby boning. Nobody stop Bobby boning. We. This is a uh, literal footage of Bobby showing up to work in his Lamborghini. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. This is premium quality gameplay. Let me just chug one of my potions. Come on, Bobby, slide. Flex on the enemies. They will never see it coming. Dab, whip, and nay, nay. Dab, whip, and nay, nay. Flex. Flex on them, flex on them. Wee. <laughs> Perfectly balanced, working exactly as intended. Oh dear. Ow, the archers hit me. Protect your overlord. Bobby demands protection. He's a weak and fragile being. 100 euro game, by the way. Um, I think they spent more than 100 euros making it. I think they probably spent a few million making it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why this this entertains me as much as it does, but... Whee! Wait, can I spin? Whee! Go, Bobby! Beyblade! Beyblade, Bobby! Ow. Okay, am I able to like lock the game FPS? Because it could potentially be a uh, V-Sync issue. Uh, low FX, doo doo doo. Max foreground FPS, there we go. Let's just quickly lock that to 60. Sometimes V-Sync can have an issue with things like that. Save changes. There we go. Okay, that appears to have worked. Yep, okay, it could just literally be a V-Sync issue. That's good to know. Good to know. That has actually just solved it, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. I don't know what it is with games. Like, so many games have issues when you go above a certain FPS. CSGO is another one of them. Like, if you go too high in terms of FPS in CSGO, the game just kind of breaks. Um, and stops working. Ooh. All right, we're about to hit level eight, which is very nice. Come on, brave men. You're doing a splendid line of work. Bobby's proud of you. Oh, those low settings. No, this is actually, this is ultra premium deluxe. Oh, I can now unlock defenders in the skeleton warriors type, which is what I will do. Uh, what is it? It's, I thought it was shift and S. Is it, it's not shift and C. Yes, it is shift C. All right, let's switch to defenders. And let's give them... Let's give our, our defenders fawns. There we go. That makes sense. Um, right. So now our bone boys... Can I... Why can't I... Why can't I resurrect anyone? Is it because I'm stuck levitating? I can't do any of my abilities? Oh, there we go. That should be fixed. Okay, it was, it's fixed now. All I need to do was dodge. Perfectly fine. Right. Time to level up. Uh, let's get... Some more fawns, lovely. There we go. Oh, oh, that's a grumpy boy. I'm not ready yet. And around I go. Go, my brave workers, fight for Bobby. That was. I'm proud of you. Very, oh, so very proud of you. Ah. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done, Ben. You're doing brilliantly. And I get hundreds of experience as a result. Ooh, a wand. Yoink. Let me just quickly nab that. Some money. Ooh, a chest. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh, it has a scythe in it. Potentially. That's good. Plus two life on kill. Um, well, I'm not killing anyone, so that's not useful. Lucky hit chance. Uh, we'll take the tunic. Oh, I accidentally just ripped off the tunic. Uh, wear the tunic. 
I know Bobby likes to find any excuse to get naked, but that's not a good thing. Right, into the foray of combat we go. <sighs> Is this really live? The subtitles know what he says before he said it live. Oh, um, the reason the subtitles do that is because, effectively, there's a slight delay, um, which is really good on on YouTube, uh, although I think it is ever so slightly kind of broken. Um, and basically, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, and basically, uh, the uh, the game itself, well, sorry, uh, I upload footage, right, to, to YouTube, and then there's a few seconds of delay and it works like what I've said and then it adds that to the closed captions which is very very good because it means you know you can watch the stream even if you can't hear the stream which is nice oh uh, just a heads up Spiff they actually rebuffed the necro skellies in the live release they just nerfed the amount of mages you can have from four to three okay that's good to see I've noticed their pathfinding is terrible though which is one of the issues uh, but other than that I do enjoy having a bunch of skellies. Very, very fun indeed. Go, my lovely bony boys. Fight for daddy. The daddy bone. Bone daddy. Don't, please don't bone daddy. Um, I think YouTube auto subtitles makes it a 20 second delay. I think it's closer to like um, 10 seconds, but yeah, something like that. Good job, men. You're doing splendidly. You're doing brilliantly. I'm so proud of you. Fight Raymond. Raymond Flarney? Yes, Raymond Flarney. CEO of Microsoft. Ah, oh, dungeon complete. We did it. And I've now unlocked the aspect of torment, which is an aspect that I can't use, but it does not matter. Um, because, yes. Right, I think we can now then just uh, leave, if I'm, if I'm correct. Shit, I've got to activate the waypoint in Kyovshad. That's a bit awkward. Um, beans. Oh, if I remember correctly, you can also quickly reset the dungeon by having Conobrow leave the party. Um, alternatively, we can stand outside the dungeon and then it resets. <laughs> but the choice is... choice doesn't really matter. Do -do 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 -do. Through the dungeons I go merrily... Wait. Maybe I can follow... Maybe I can go through one of their town portals. That would make sense if I could do that. Yes, if one of them does a return to town, I should probably logically be able to follow. Otherwise, I'm just going to be awkwardly stuck in the dungeon for a few minutes. All right, look, he goes through. Shit. I knew I should have activated that portal. Um, right, Connor, if you start any vague quest... I should... Actually, wait. If I leave and rejoin the party, that should do it. Social. Leave party. Right. Leave. Here we go. Oh, press escape and leave dungeon. <laughs> Smooth brain moment. Smooth brain moment. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Quest to join party. <laughs> I have my moments, okay. Uh, you're unable to join the party because you've not yet completed the prologue. Well, I guess I need to quickly complete the prologue, and by that I need to speed my way through the prologue. Run past all the wogs. Run past all the wogs. You don't need to fight the wogs, you just need to walk past them. Into the town we go. Into here we go. Investigate the voices. Careful, he's a wild one. Do 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 do. Speak to the villagers. Skip all of that. Well, I might need to invite my uh, party members over. Well, rather, could I just invite Connor? Oh. Beans. I've got a grumpy corgi. Well, I must now attempt the prologue using only bones and potentially uh, a friend. 
Georgie, what's wrong? What's wrong, Grumpy Corgi? Alright, so I've got to go do the ruins. Okay. Alright, which means, Connor, if you could leave your party, I should be able to invite you to mine. You're going to have to leave yours. And then I should be able to do the prologue. And that should hopefully fix this weird... This weird timeline situation we find ourselves in. Press T to go to town and then your friend's portal. Um, because this character hasn't technically completed the prologue, they don't have access to the town portal. You only get it when you go to um, unlock this waypoint. Actually, should I be able to just... I should be able to just run my way there, actually. Yeah, let me give it a go. Oh, but no, it's probably going to make me come all the way back, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, dear. Yeah, Georgie would like to say hello. Um, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Connor, I need you to leave your party. You're doing it now. Good. Good, Connor. In that time, I'm going to go say hi to Georgie. One second. Chat, you must entertain yourself by role-playing as skeletons. Rattle, 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 clack, rattle, tattle. Skelly noises, skeleton noises, spooky skeleton noises. Doot, doot. Doot, doot has got to be one of the best. Um, right, let me quickly accept some friend requests. Accept, accept. Oh, error accepting that friend code. Okay, I just can't accept that one, that's fine. Okay, I can't either accept or decline it, that's fine. Brilliant, good stuff. Oh, I, I just have multiple friend requests from different people. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, right. Uh, Connor, you're, I'm probably going to have to... Let me find the people that we're playing with in the clan. Uh, do, 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 do. Where were they? I swear one of them was... One of them was Dizen, wasn't it? Wasn't one Dizen? I can't, I can't be wrong. Chat, was it Dizen? You have you have the ability to scrub back live. Or had they potentially not even? Do 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 do. Uh, add friend. Oh, anyway, send them a friend request. Uh, yeah, okay. Drizzen was definitely one of them. Um, oh, it's Bonk. There we go. I need to find Bonk. Where is Bonk in the list? Is Bonk? Did Bonk not get in the clan? Bonk. Who do you think you are? Trying to bypass the clan structure. Well... I accept anyone into the clan. Did Bonk send me a friend request? No. Well, that's on Bonk. Bonk had to log, I think. Okay, that's fine. We'll do this. We'll do this dungeon with just the three of us. We should be able to manage it. Into the dungeon I go. Ah, uh, run, 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 run. That's a bear. That's a bear. That's a bear. Those are bones. That's a bear. I mean, the good news is, even though we've technically done this dungeon already, we still get the experience from it. Bonk had to go. Okay. I'll instead invite someone else on the list to the party. Um, I'm Woosh, will do. <clears throat> right. Come to my dungeon corner. 
We can relate to your determination. Thank you. I'm a pacifist. A, a, a pure pacifist who just desires to exist and vibe in the glorious world. Oh, and we've been joined by Urija is our is our new assistant. There we go. And I'm Woosh. Here's a necromancer. Perfect. That's we need we need more of those. Is is Drizzen also a necromancer? Uh Drizzen's profile did just not even spawn in. There we go. Yes, okay, so we have we have three necromancers and then whatever Connor is. Connor's a barbarian. Oh my god, that actually looks like Connor. That's that's really weird. I mean, he's even wearing basically no trousers, just like Connor. Wee! That single cloth is is doing a lot of heavy lifting. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Mango is saying I can't hear the stream, but do we like the new layout? Yes, we like the new layout. I'm not very good at optimizing uh, OBS, but I, I think I worked out what the issue was. The issue was with um, uh, with me. Right into the dungeon we go. We can see the weird, the weird glowy outlines are our friends, um, our friend summons, which is very funny. Right, let's just beeline our way through. We should be able to hopefully clear out the entire thing. Do 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 do. A bunch of summoned boys. Oh wait, this is not the way. This is the way. Dodge through that. Run around in circles. Get our experience. The thing is, the experience scales from the level of the monsters you kill, and the monsters scale to your level, which basically means you can redo the same bits of gubbins over and over again and yield positive results. Oh, that's a skeleton archer. Uh, just look at all of the summons go to work. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Oh, that's a grumpy head. Oh, that's another grumpy barrel. Run around in circles, watching the summons do all the work. They're doing so lovely. Right, into here we go. Wow, that's a golem. Look at that. Big old flesh golem. They can do um, stuff, I think. Anyway, I'm about to level up to level 9, which is lovely. Right, fantastic. Uh, we actually only need to go this way, um, because this is where the final boss is, so that is what we will do. Oh, don't forget to heal up. I'm not ready yet. Do 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 do. Right, Connor. Um, you're gonna do great, okay? You you're gonna pretty much solo this final Oh Grumpy boys. Grumpy boys are aggroed on me. It's okay, I'll just run around in circle. There we go, level nine. Um upgrade our fawns. Now let's give Skeletal Mastery more health to our Skelly Boys. That'll make him happy. Do, 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 do. Pacifist Run, aka you need to carry me because reasons. Look, they need to carry me because in the social structure, Bobby Bone is a Nepo baby. His father ran a very highly successful pharmaceutical company. And consequently, he inherited all of his father's wealth and empire. Bobby used this to create the legendary mercenary clan, the Bone Boys. Uh, and the Bone Boys exist to further Bobby. Bobby Bone. Right. There we go, glorious success. Away we go. Gosh, I, I love watching and passively gaining profit from doing literally nothing. Oh, there's a fiery boy. And we run away. Go, my bone boys. You can attack. Gosh, not even my skeletons. Like, they basically just don't attack. Their, their aggro is really toned down for some reason. It's a little bit silly, but it's fine. All right, through here we go. We just need to get to the final boss. We don't need to really be that efficient with the whole clearing out the dungeon malarkey. Around in circles we go. Around in circles we go. My skellies will do the work. And if they don't, my interns will put in a good show. 
Bobby Bones sound like he's a distant cousin with David S. Pumpkins. Don't know who David S. Pumpkins is. Sounds like a glorious cartoon character. Um, fake pacifist challenge. What do you mean fake pacifist challenge? I'm not fighting. I've unbound the fight key. I have no combat abilities. How is this non not a pacifist run? I, I cannot directly kill an enemy. I have not directly killed an enemy. That is the challenge I set myself. I run around in circles. My friends, I can't control what they're doing. Who am I to judge them? That was not bad. Now, let me just quickly pop in a heal. Right, I hope he does a... Uh... Impressive. There we go, just uh... Impressive. God, I want you to throw me because it should bug well me out. Done. Nope, it, it just hits. That was not bad. Come on, do- yes. Come on, yes. Right, when he falls down to the ground, I think I can bug the uh, animations again. Well done. Nope. Yes, okay. Right, come on again. No, it didn't work. Oh, I wanted to rebug the game so that we were sliding around on our car once more, but alas, no. Anyway, success. Pick up all of that gubbins. Do 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 do. Oh, buckler will do nicely. And up we go. Back out into the wider world. The Charles Manson of Diablo 4. No, I'm not doing. Look, I prefer to think of myself as the Pablo Escobar of Diablo 4. Um, I have my lovely my lovely assistants and directly you probably can't accuse me of the crime of actually killing anyone um you have no no true proof that i was present at the scene of the your crime ruins are clear. your town should be safe now truly ha! by the light you are heaven sent what the hell is this? So what the hell is going on here? They have hot stew. They have hot stew and good company, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Let me just skip this cutscene. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh dear. Don't worry. It's uh, The game's working exactly as intended. There was, there was a cutscene there. I can promise you that is exactly what the cutscene looked like. Oh dear. Right. Let's speak to uh, this man. Da 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 da. Right. Loot a key. Chapel key. Opens door. Go to chapel. Griff, uh, Brit, aren't you theoretically hiring assassins to do your dirty laundry for you? Well, yes. But when you think about it, that's that's kind of what any employee is. You know, like. I, I pay Connor Brow to, to manage a Discord. I pay my edits to edit videos. I pay Mango to do like stream UI and members content. It's all just lackeys at the end of the day. Oh, quickly skip. There we go. Everyone comes to, hello. Skip, skip, skip. Find that hermit's cabin. Right, away we go. Almost completed the prologue for a second time. Oh dear. Do we want to do the little, little cellar? We might as well. The cellar's easy. We've got so many minions it will just bog it down. Right, into the cellar we go. And aggro. Ow! That crossbow was painful. Right, and then they're all aggroed. I will now stand here. And enjoy the residual success. Perfect. Yes, technically Connor Brow is doing his job right now. Oh dear, I've been frozen. But it makes no difference. Oh, speaking of which, i got to chug another potion to give me some extra experience. So yes, we're currently receiving um, plus... Uh, this is plus 5% experience from this, plus 10% experience from this, and then plus 20 experience because we're on World Tier 2, uh, which is a nice experience stack modifier. 
Connor Brown, do you actually get paid? Uh, Connor Brown does actually get paid. He gets paid in uh, Watsits and Quavers and Heinz Baked Beans. Um. <laughs> or at least that's what we tell HMRC. Oh, dear. Right, onwards with the adventure we go. Yeah, so one thing I would say is that this game is technically not pay to win um, because evidently, you know, I'm winning and I haven't paid any. I, I suppose I have. Oh, God, it is pay to win, isn't it? No, this is pay to win because Connor here, Connor here clearly, I'm paying him and he's helping me win. Ergo, pay to win. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense now. What a tricky predicament we find ourselves in. The moral complexities. You can't buy power, but you can buy people to boost you. Um, <laughs> right, off this way to the, uh, the hermit's house. Ooh, interact with the berry bush. More berries. Do 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 into the cabin we go. What are you hiding back? Here? Into the cheeky back room we go. Specimens sure notes gives you experience. No. Interact with the skull. Freshly turned. An easy kill. Right, party's being gathered. And, the others. and then we skip cutscene. And then we skip second cutscene. And now we go on in our journey. I get some experience from that as well, lovely. We every game is pay to win. It's just unofficial. Exactly, this is unofficial success. This close to the city. Good job, skellies. Go fight my brave skeletons. Yeah, they're doing an okay job. It's not the best, but you know, they're managing it. God, they're really, really not the best at fighting. Your bones betray you. They shall soon serve me. <laughs> right. I will say, I was very impressed that I was able to get the clan tag bone. Um, I was not expecting that. Um, but you know what? That's a, that's a good thing. Uh, it's speaking Brit, but uh, also it is pay to win because you have to pay to pay to pay for the game to win the game. Oh my god. When you think about it, every game's pay to win. Except maybe Cookie Clicker, because I don't think you can pay for up to, to win in that game using real-world money. Although I could be wrong. Right, let me increase my Bone Boy's power. Prison is pay to win. I mean, I guess cigarettes are a form of currency? Right, and that's how prison works. Anyway, right, we're up to level 10, which puts us firmly halfway in our quest of glorious success. Oh, got to interact with you. Do to do on to Kyovashad. Did I pick up some new armor? Oh, nice, you look good. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You must do the sin thing. Interact, what's this about? Skip. Take a piece of holy cedar from the Piece of holy cedar wood. Inscribe nothing. Skip. Speak with God, he will be happy. Job done. Oh, we did it! We completed the basic prologue of the game. Well done, glorious success. Um Hanzo, Shim Hanzo Shimada Gregory, sorry if I missed your donation earlier. Uh, when are you doing another British colonial simulator game? Um, not sure. I think I am planning to do something special with um, with Minecraft, but we're not quite there yet. Not yet. Uh, now there is one exploit that I do want to talk about, which is kind of silly. Um, which is you might remember how 
earlier. I'm off to the dry supplies, anything at all. Uh, earlier we did a little dungeon, which was pretty funny. Uh, it was over here. And basically, upon completing the dungeon, I gained a... Gosh, what is it? I gained like a an, an essence thing that I can imbue all of my equipment with. Uh, now, here's the thing. You can actually get that and the renown by just having any party member complete that dungeon, which is a little bit silly. And Drizzen says, want me to run to a dungeon? I mean, if you want to. Um, I can just... You know what? If you want to prove a point, yeah, if you guys want to do a dungeon and I will just sit here, yeah. I want to see if it's possible for me to get the benefit or if that's potentially been patched. Right, go for it. I will instead loiter here. <laughs> I will stand here and see if I can profit from this. I will find a way. I will find a way to do no work at all. And it will be glorious. Alright, so if I were to sit here... And our lovely minion, Dizen, is uh, over here. There's a little village. There's some... There's a there's a dungeon over here. Okay, so this is the dungeon he's doing. But yes, this was the one we did previously. Aspect of uh, conflagration is, is the thing we got. Uh, we can see it over here. Over here we have Aspect of Torment. Wait, that's one I've done. Aspect of the Protector. Where is it? Okay, I'm a smooth brain. Who knows? Um, but yes, basically, you get those aspects from completing dungeons. But of course, we don't actually need to be in the dungeon to complete the dungeon. I want to see if I can gain experience from being at the other end of the dungeon. Okay, let's go. I'm going to sit on at the entrance of the dungeon. I'm not going to go anywhere deeper into the dungeon than the entrance. And I want to see if it's possible to get experience. Okay, so... Where the hell am I? I'm not even certain. Oh! Okay, so this is more wood. Slay the bandit sentries. Whatever they may be. I guess I don't even know what this map is. So, maybe I just run around in circles and try and find the entrance? Okay, there we go. There's the entrance. To Kroll Forest. Or is that the dungeon? Yes, okay. This is... We are in the dungeon. So I will now sit here... And see if I can gain experience. So, ah, I just gained some experience. Interesting. Curious. Curious indeed. <laughs> uh, gained nearby player bonus. Oh, cool. Connor, Connor, can you just stand here and give me the nearby player bonus? And then those other two can, uh, can actually complete the dungeon. Although, did they lose health? Or is, does that mean they are now too far away to give me experience? When the health pool goes like that. Or did they die? I'm not sure. Well, I'm gaining experience here. This is good. Mm. Mm. Ah. Welcome to uh, Diablo 4. Blizzard's latest AFK clicker game. Um, whereby we can just stand here and, and chill. Oh, gain nearby player bonus. Lovely. Who is a nearby player to me here? Uh, oh, I guess, yes, Connor is coming back. Connor is now coming back. There we go. Thank you, Connor. Just that extra 10%, it, it really adds a huge bonus to me. I hope you... I, I just need you to know that. Uh, uh, lovely. All right, 14.715 is where we're currently at. I think it's just a weird desync with the health. Yeah, I guess it might be. Oh, yep, because we are still gaining experience despite their health pool being at zero. Okay, so we're up to 15,000 experience. we just got a little bit of a way to go. Uh, Dizen and Uri Urija are doing fantastically. I don't even know if it's Urija. I, I mean, look, I'm the boss. I get to come up with what people are called. Oh, you know what I can do? Oh, I could get some music going. Oh, let's do that. Let me just quickly open up a, a new... Do 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 do. Oh, epidemic sounds. Bam. 
Let's get some uh, club club anthems. Club. Oh wait, hang on a second. Whilst we're here. All stand for the national anthem, ladies and gentlemen. You see, just like the British monarchy, we have perfected the glorious art of harvesting generational successes for our own. We can see that Urijah has gloriously engaged the bandit century on behalf of his lord and savior, Bobby Bone. Bobby Bone is here to succeed and thrive where others have failed. Hail to the king, baby. Hail to the king. Hail to Bobby Bone. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, look at those salutes in chat. Those glorious saluting soldiers. Long live Bobby Bone. Our glorious savior and succeeder of dungeoneering. Do do do. Look at them, they're over here fighting an entire boss. They killed it, I guess, because I just got experience, baby. All right, that's that done. Um, club, club anthem. Let's let's just find like the worst, um, worst club anthem I can find. House 2010's pop. Oh, this is going to be great. I don't know what this is going to be like, but um, it's going to be able to give us a vibe. I'm getting kind of like Darude Sandstorm vibes from it. Let me also just hit him with some motivation. Well done. Um, party, you are doing great, guys. If you keep working this hard, one day I might afford a second Lambo. Stay strong, my brave, fearless workers. Daddy Bobby is very proud. There we go. Look at that. We're getting some more experience as a result. Our workers are improving. <laughs> uh, no, this is not hardcore. It's not hardcore, but honestly, it wouldn't make a difference. Uh, because I am not engaging in any combat. Now that we've discovered that I can simply sit at the entrance of a dungeon and be carried... Because when you're a hardcore character, you can play and party with people who aren't hardcore characters as well. Uh, so that means, if you were hardcore, just go AFK. There you go, look at it. Your Idra is doing a splendid job. We get a salute from our, our glorious brave worker out there. We Spin. Yes, look at Connor dance. He's got some great moves on him. Uh, can you say Diablo ten times in the British in British accent, please? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Diab, Di Diab, Diablo, <laughs> Diablo, 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 Diablo Four, Diablo Escobar, Diablo Eskimo. What are interns for? Um, interns are for. I don't know, uh, a meticulous dancer. So that's what that's what this intern does, Connor Brow is. Okay, interns are for two things. Connor Brow is the hype intern. So his job is to stand next to me and tell me I'm doing a great job. And in doing so, I get 10% extra experience. Armor and Fawns is basically like alcohol. And by drinking on the job, I get a further 10% experience. World Tier 2 basically means I'm in, like, say, America or London, where it's more expensive. So, sure, it's more dangerous, but you get more experience, a.k.a. money. And then, uh, Dizen and Urija here, they are the actual workers who I'm sending into the coal mines to harvest dangerous chemicals for me. Um, it's brilliant. At this point, we could fully automate the stream, just set up an AI to say words, and then occasionally click on the ground so the game doesn't boot me for being afk right, i'm going to uh god this is i don't know why the developers would allow this like look at how far away they are 
They're the other side. Look, there's a whole dungeon over here that they've been on. That's brilliant. That's amazing. Good for them. Good for them. Oh my gosh. Mm. I always thought interns were expendable. Oh, there's level 11, baby. Uh, I leveled up before Connor did. <laughs> Connor's actually killed people. <laughs> I don't think it should be working this way around, but that's fine. Consuming a corpse generates free essence. That's fun. Um, I'm instead going to buff up my skelly boys even more. Give them more life. I want them to live and be strong. Uh, I want to be like Bobby and get a Lambo. Look, anyone in the clan can get a Lambo. Uh, look, yes, that's right. Everyone in chat, I can tell you how to how to get get women, get married, get money, and get Lambo because that's all that modern society seems to care about. It's very simple. Buy my book, Bobby Bones, boner book of beautiful, bountiful, bulgening bank accounts. It is a 400 step guide in which I meticulously detail all of the brilliant strategies you must undertake in order to become fabulously rich and wealthy like me. And of course it is contradictory and very complicated, meaning that when it inevitably fails I can say that you didn't do it correctly and there is no proof that you have any, any actual way out and that I have a legal responsibility for having missold you a lie. Now, of course, if that's not for you and you don't want to buy my book, instead you can sign up to my course. It is just £400,000 per month. And if you subscribe to the Tier 7 course, like Connor Brow does, uh, for only £47,000 a month, uh, you will be given a premium one-minute phone call with the Bobby Bone, uh, whereby he will tell you how to how to hustle like the best of them. And by hustle, he's mostly just going to tell you you're weak and you need to vaguely work harder without really explaining what work harder means or how anyone makes money because it's just a pyramid scheme, ladies. It's, it's always a pyramid scheme. Every time. Oh dear, how are my boys doing? They're doing great. They're slaying over here. That's wonderful. Ah. Oh. Look at this, more experience, wonderful. Bobby Bones, boning book of bulge and bountiful bank accounts. Yes, that's the book. That's the book. 400k would steal. steal. I know it is. Look, it's you're literally spending money to make money. I have rich friends who, yes, didn't take my course, but they also have a lot of money, so that means that I sound even more important. Why can we only hear Spiff? It's nice and all, but... Uh, to hear Connor, Connor Brown complaining is nice too. Fine, I'll give Connor a call. Let me give Connor a call. <clears throat> I'm recalling Connor. Paging through now. Hello. Hello, Connor. How are you doing? Um, I'm busy over here. Yeah, you're doing a really good job. Uh, could you do some dance moves for me? Just like... Wee! Look at him go! He's like a Beyblade! Although I am noticing you've got like three blades attached to you. You are definitely... You've got four blades! What? Yeah. I, what? Two one-handed and two two-handed. I'm only allowed like two weapons maximum. That's crazy. I Actually, wait, no. I suppose I have skeletons and each of them can carry weapons as well. Okay, you know what? I've got you beat on the weapons front. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I mean, we've had a fantastic few days over here at um, Spiffco. Um, Connor came over for a few days to help fix fix my computer. Um, and <laughs> then we didn't fix my computer. Instead, gave up. Watched a bunch of CSGO, I think. Oh, we also watched a bunch of bad... We saw The Little Mermaid! Yeah, we saw The Little Mermaid, We saw yeah. The Little Mermaid film. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, now, of course, you might think that I, a posh... British bastard and Connor Brow, a giant ginger Bristolian, would not normally be inclined to watch The Little Mermaid. And you'd be correct, 
Um, it was Mango who wanted to see The Little Mermaid, and so we went to see The Little Mermaid. Although I will say it was a little bit awkward when we bought the tickets because Mango was parking the car. So surrounded by like a bunch of families and their young children, there's just myself standing next to Connor and Connor's like seven foot uh, and looks like a giant Viking. And I asked the, the lovely man at the desk, uh, uh, free tickets for the Little Mermaid, please. Um, and you know, I, I'm sure we were not the normal clientele for that film. Um, yeah, I was asked to review it, and I basically just said it was it was fine, um, which I think is <laughs> is my verdict on it. It's okay. Oh look, our, our interns are actually dying in this combat. It seems maybe you need to go and um, you need to go and assist them, Connor. They need backup. They need backup. Yeah, I mean, you, I, I'll come. I'll come wander over as well, but I'm not going to do any fighting. I, I I just need to be close. Oh, there's some combat, Connor. There you go. You deal with all of that, please. What? Come on, get going. Go, Connor. Fight. <laughs> fight, my brave boy. My brave, beautiful boy. Go. You're doing amazing. Yay. Good job, Connor. Oh, we completed the cursed shrine event. Whatever that means. Friendly deeds. Complete a world event while you're in a party. Nice. Reward unlocked. We got a title. There's one bandit down. Okay, yeah, I think they're on the final bandit, which is this one over here. Which we should be able to get to if we link up down south. I am noting you are kind of close to death, Connor, so just uh, watch out. Um, make sure to chug your potions. I will summon up some more distraction Ooh. skeletons. That was oh very close then. Oh dear. I'm going to preemptively start walking this direction. Um, <laughs> oh, lovely. Don't worry, you've done... Oh, I stood in a trap. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Jubbly. Uh, what what this, way do we... This way down to... south, I think. Oh, there's another tree boy for you to fight, Connor. Pip, pip, tally, ho. Fight the tree boy. Fight the tree boy. You're doing a splendid job. How? I got stabbed. Right, onwards we go. Oh, we're actually assisted by our, our friends here. There we go. And there's some equipment. I think that was actually even a shield. Uh, that's an increase in fawns, so that is way better. I will take that. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we need to go down again. Yeah, we do. Uh... Also, people in chat, if you're saying the, the graphics are terrible, I did lower the graphics. Um, I mean, I could try and lower them even further just to see what that would look like for the sake of it. Okay, this is our bandit sentry. Oh, now that we've got the gang here, we're actually pretty effective at fighting him. There you go, he's dead. That was easy. Gregor, need a word with you. Says the math oh, I've got to revive our friend. Says she saw around the reserves last night. Ooh, Said dexterity. We'll two boxes of the good stuff. No need to worry. I know you'll make it right, and I know you'll come tell me exactly All right, how. So I think we finished I this world event, right? Let you go. Is that this world event done now? Like you, my friend. Looks like it. Yeah. Like okay. Right. Too. I guess we follow our follow our boys. I'm, I'm just going to presume that Drizzen vaguely knows what he's doing. Oh, there's a like a... Oh, we've got to travel to the Skeletal Rise. Okay, that was just actually the first section of this dungeon. <gasps> Heavy crossbow. Oh, yeah. Fur-lined hood. Oh. Oh, wow, that's pretty decent. I'll take that. And it makes me look even more evil. Oh, join fighting process. Yep, I'm in. Right, you're doing great, guys. You know what? I actually believe in you, so I'm just going to press escape and see if I get more experience. So I'm on 12,766 experience. I'm now out of the game. Um, tell me once you've defeated the creatures. I 
Have you done it, Connor? Have you done. defeated the creatures? Damn it, I didn't get experience. Okay, I, I do have to actually not be in escape. <laughs> okay. Oh. I can't completely be just a bastard. <laughs> we around, I go in circles. Running around in circles. Helping everyone out by distracting the enemies by running around in circles. How far of the way are you through uh, level 11? I only just started it. Oh, I'm halfway through. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should try uh, the passive income strategy. Uh, it's uh, highly effective. I've got a handful of timeshares I could lease you. You've invested all your XP and it's paying dividends. It is. This is the uh, long-term grind. Oh dear, all of my skeletons are definitely going to die to that. Wee! Look at the boys go. Look at them fight. Look at them thrive. That was not bad. Oh. So just to make things clear, Spiff is making a servant run where he does nothing but gets XP. Kind of like Elon Musk. He's way more pleasant. I mean... I, I appreciate that you think I'm way more pleasant than Elon Musk, but let's be real, that's not exactly a high bar um, to cross. Uh, but thank you nonetheless. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, wow. Okay, so I think I get more experience for being... Uh, okay, no, I don't. Okay, I thought I got more experience for being in close proximity to the fight, but it doesn't seem to make a difference whether I was at the start of the maze or over here. It, it all seems to be the same. Gosh, this is uh, some very effective AFKing I can do. Hmm. Ah. Oh. There we go, highly successful stuff. Let me just use up all of these corpses. For fun. Oh, you died, Oops. Connor. Let me quickly revive you. There we go. Very successful. Alright, I guess where's the next skeletal construct? Oh, there's one down here. Do, 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 do. Let me just run into the enemy. Here it is. Right, if I stand next to it, I can't hit it, but loitering next to it is a is a vibe. There we go. Spin, spin, spin. Hey, Smith, how do you feel about the MMO-like feature where you see random people from time to time? I think that's good, and it allows you to do this strategy... Um, without even needing to do a party because you can just walk around the world map a bit and there's a good chance someone will eventually come along and they will um, they will just kill stuff and in doing so you get the experience as well even if you're not in a party with them you still get the 5% bonus as well for them just being you know, a player nearby to you which is even better Right, I'm about to hit level 12 lovely stuff Ooh, shield. That could be useful. Is the shield better? Um, nope. But it will do. Oh, okay, right. There we go. Level 12. So we are now eight levels away from my... Um, my decided goal let me uh, what can I do increase the damage and life of your skeletal mages by 20% I mean I suppose I could do that or I could just give myself more fawns that will do nicely I haven't even unlocked skeletal mages yet they're level 15 
Oh dear, am I out of consumable? No, I have this one. Brilliant, All right. Ruined band. Ooh, nice. I have more no life. fingers. You have no fingers? Yeah, there's a ring on the ground and it says you have no place to put that item. A ring? Yeah. I mean, at least we now know that your character is canonically a eunuch as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Don't worry, in the business we call that bone humor. It's, uh, it's fine. No, we've almost killed this. Oh, and here is some kind of final boss. Imaldus Blinkswift. Oh, we've we gained the aspect of slaking. So that is this dungeon complete. Sweet. We've just gotta kill this little boss dude. I appreciate that in this dungeon, I held a critical role as a um, a being that was nearby to the events that transpired within this location. Oh god, someone's saying that was a flaccid joke. Oh dear. Look, if you have a bone to pick with my sense of humour, then um, speak to Connor, he manages those complaints. <laughs> Uh, so what's the strat? Uh, my strat is very simple. Um, I'm not actually fighting... I cannot directly kill an enemy. So I've basically unbound my uh, attack key. Um, so that's gone. I can't. I don't have a basic attack. Uh, I can raise skeletons, but they've kind of basically done nothing. Um, it just exists to basically clog up the pathfinding of the enemy. Uh, meanwhile, these three party members here feed me experience every time they kill someone and me being near to them gives me a 10% experience boost this gives me an additional 5% experience boost I get an extra 20 from this and even if I am located over here in this dungeon I still get the uh, experience from these guys killing these enemies over here I'm just near to them because it gives us something to look at and also I can get loot let me just I, I can't get loot actually there's a wall around this loot chest and I oh apparently I can just walk over it there we go Lovely. I thought I was going to basically not have access to the loot at all. That would be funny. Oh, dear. Right. Oh, a wand that boosts all of my stats. Why not? I think we are done. Yep, I agree, Dizen. I think we are done. Um, I guess we teleport where now? Is it on the map? Is it just like a leave dungeon? Or do we just do a, uh, a town portal away? Town portal away! Ah, lovely. <laughs> I always like it when you get nice messages from, um, from people in the live chat. And it's just like... Their username is just the literal, literal most goblin-y username ever. Like someone just called Hentai Spider. Oh, I didn't realize it was live. I thought this was a video to watch later. Nope, this is a live video. Thank you, Hentai Spider. <laughs> oh, dear. They've right. been watching too much Hentai. They didn't realize things could be live anymore. <laughs> Everything's pre-recorded. Um... Right, so we did the Black Asylum. Um, I think Eurasia is somewhere. I think it might be worth me visiting the apo uh, Apothecary. Because I think they might have some herbs for me. Da, 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 da. Don't need that. Okay, upgrade my healing potion. Okay, I can't actually craft any elixirs. Fine. Okay. 
Okay, 12, level 12. Where do we want to go? I guess the nearest dungeon, Light's Wrath, isn't too far away. No, let's go for Light's Wrath. I'm not ready yet. Uh, what is hentai? Uh, don't don't look it up. <laughs> don't look it up. <laughs> uh, when a when a mummy anime and a daddy anime love each other very much, they create uh, something that sits in a legally dubious grey area of both copyright laws and and just general media laws um, yeah I think that's the easiest way to describe it alright I'm just going to beeline my way into a dungeon and then you're more than welcome to teleport to me although actually there's a world event okay you can just teleport to me I mean a cemetery There we go. Right. Now I can just let everyone else solo this cemetery for me as I stand at the gates to the cemetery. Ah, perfect. All I need to do is keep an eye on my experience bar. As we just relax. Oh. So how have, you, how have you been doing, chat? Have you been um, enjoying this nice warm weather we've been having? Um, you see any... You see the football match last night? You see the ludicrous dis display? Uh... Dear. Some of the minions. I only need four minions. But I don't even need any minions. Let me just let me get rid of my minions. Just to prove a point. No minions. We're going minion free for anyone who, who doubts my ability to level up without minions. Not that they even did anything, but... Here we go. 16,000 experience. Hmm. Game any good? Um... I, I say I enjoy the game. Yeah, I definitely enjoy it. It's uh, quite fun. I think if you enjoy uh, kind of like vaguely repetitive hack and slashes, you'll enjoy this. The main limitation, I think, is the way the game scales. It puts you in a position where I, I think you never feel too overpowered, um, which is fine. I think that's a good good balancing act, but I know it's not necessarily for every player. Um, yeah, I think the interesting, interesting kind of like perspective would be it, if like it was slightly more overpowered, would it be more entertaining? Um, because some characters feel very overpowered, others less so. Anyway, uh, our friends have to go defeat the final boss, which is over here. Uh, we can see them. It's the big skull. They're doing a great job. Look, we can even see some damage coming out from it. But, you know, we're just here to observe. Oh, oh get out of the way. No, nope, don't target Bobby. Bobby Bone is a UN peacekeeper who is simply here to observe. Oh, there's a stone on the ground. Let me look at that. A potion. Yum, 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 yum. And there we go. We get 520 gold, bunch of experience, 1,200 experience, and loot chest. Yay, beloved loot chest. Right, over to our dungeon next then. I'm not a smart person. What do you mean? I keep saying hide gloves and thinking that clicking it hides the gloves. Oh my god. <laughs> I've just realized what it means. <laughs> Connor. Oh. 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 Bless, blessed Connor. Blessed be our, our friend. Oh, this is just me in every game with multiplayer. Yeah, I mean, this is... Um, a lot of games don't allow you to do this. Like, I don't think CSGO would let you level up if you never got a kill. Although that's probably worth experimenting. Like, Connor, we could do that. That definitely exists. Yeah, but like... Just getting carried? Can, can you not get any kills and get carried? I wonder. I don't know. Like, do you just get flat elo for winning a game regardless of if you got kills? 
That could get possible. very interesting. And and even if you did like just get like a basic rank, what would the basic rank be? Oh, there's enemies there. Don't get too close. Are you close to leveling up to 13 yet? I'm halfway. Okay. You are much one, further than me. One experience bar away, yeah. Do, 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 do. Slay the Watchmen. But who will watch the Watchmen? Uh, if you don't even have to be in a party to leech experience. I know you don't. I'm just in a party because it gives me an extra 10%. And it allows me to target them a little bit better. Um, which is all I need. Ooh. There's a boy. Run around the boy. Run around the boy. Oh, tainted firebrand. Run around. Run around. Annoy the archers. There you go. Yeah, I'm helping. I'm distracting. Well done. <laughs> Just run around in circles. And there we go. Level 13. Wonderful. Ooh, fur-lined hood. Now that. Is that good? Um, uh, a little bit. I think a little bit. Maybe. Who knows? Let me dump all this rubbish as well. I don't need it. And I don't even need money, so I might as well just yeet it out. I know you can break it down for items, but come on. Uh, speaking of Brit, does Connor get a pay cut of baked beans if he meshes, uh, messes up? Um, I don't think Connor has ever had his baked bean supply docked for failures in the past, but that is a good idea I'll keep in mind for the future. Oh, Maybe that recent video we filmed. Counts. Oh, no, we are not talking about the recent video. Oh, my God. That was pretty funny, though. Um... <laughs> I mean, I guess it will come out in, in, like, next month when the video comes out, but I tried to record a game uh, which Connor had quite a few hours in, and I hadn't. And the logic was, can I, an exploiter, beat a pro at a game? And the pro was Connor. So we played it in multiplayer with Connor as the pro, and Connor then proceeded to lose the game and go bankrupt. Um... And consequently destroying the entire concept of the video. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we couldn't turn that into a video. Uh, it had to be um, turned into a members video and then I had to re-record the video in single player after Connor proved his glorious ineptitude. Uh. It proved that your technique worked though. It did prove that my least. technique worked, but it's easier to see if my technique works, you know, if if there's a baseline to go off of what a good player looks like, okay? Yeah, very oh, true. God. Yeah, so that's in the editing pile. You'll see the results of that eventually. Alright, so we've slayed the Watchmen, so that just means we go back, I think? Or do we go through this way back? That door is broken. Is that broken for you? Uh, what? Is it, like, closed and yet open? Yeah. Ah! Don't go in that door! That's a bad door. Bad door. You're doing a great job, Connor. You keep getting that experience. Oh, there's another person in here. Ah. Chug my potions. Oh. Hand wraps. Don't forget your hand wraps. This is the first pair of gloves I've found! Yay. <laughs> uh, hey Spiff, loving the content, but I must ask, where do you buy your tea uh, from the supermarket where they sell Yorkshire tea? Uh, although I haven't really had to buy tea in like a year because people keep sending it to me. So, you know, it's great. It's wonderful. It makes it very easy to live my, my high tea consumption lifestyle. I mean, heck, I even gave Connor tea. Actually, wait, no, I didn't give Connor tea. Uh, Linus Tech Tips gave Connor tea. And then I let Connor keep the tea because I already had enough tea. 
<laughs> Plus, I also didn't want to drink tea that had been in an airplane from Canada and that was in like a water cooling box. Um, it just seemed a bit too dodgy. It tastes fine, I can tell you that. Okay, sure. We'll start seeing if you like, I don't know, develop botulism or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got a level up. Um, close enemies take 2% more damage from you and deal 3% less damage to you. Hmm. I mean, I feel like less okay, damage a... is always good. I found a boss. You found a boss. I'll be over in a bit. Okay, let's just improve my, my summons for maybe when I do want to do summons. Weapon rack. How does Fig take his tea? I, I just have it with milk and sometimes sugar. Um, usually in the morning. Right, it would appear we're going the long way round to that boss. Instead of going directly. Why would anyone send uh, send tea already distilled? That seems a bit mad. Um, no, the tea wasn't distilled, it was just in a box. You know, I guess whilst I'm here, I can do some clan management. Let me just quickly go through some of these uh, clan join requests whilst I'm in the midst of combat. Let me go comfy rat. Nice, I did my job. Oh, here's some fighting. Just stand behind all of the bone boys. Connor, where about Connor? Are you leading the boss to us? Yeah. It's it's on the map and it's following you. I can see it. <laughs> Let me come find him. Is he powerful? Oh, he's got he's very little... powerful. He's, he's much more powerful boss. than the previous boss that I just beat. Okay. Go the reverse way. Oh my god, you guys just. Why are you bringing it around? Ooh, superior gauntlets. That's better. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, he's he's a big grumpy boy. Apparently, I'm stunned or something. Oh, Connor, you're quite low on health. Oh, you're fine now. Yeah, I was. He, he is really after you. He really is not he happy. He really wants me big time. No, I'll, I'll do you all a service, and I'll just stand here and I don't know tank a hit or something. I mean, he doesn't even really seem to want to fight me. That's good. Far more interested in the those in lower managerial positions like yourself. There we go, chug another potion. Oh, oh shit! I haven't got any heals. Don't worry, just reviving our friend. There we go. Connor, the, a heal potion just dropped on the ground. Okay, it was just taken away. Oh. Did you die? No. I'm just holding on. If you if you die, if you could do it in a in a good location, that would be useful, because then I can revive you. But if you die in a bad location, I can't do anything. Impressive. Just heal it. Oh. Oh jeez, I got. That was close. I got spaff there. Right, Watchman's dead. Dead. I stole his key. That was very close. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe for you. Uh, it was quite quite comfortable <laughs> for me, I, I won't lie. Um, kind of just did a, did a little bit of thinking about what my autobiography is going to be about. Um, the, the you, I hope and, so. Life and days of Bobby Bone. Ooh. Right, use the watchman's key to open the watchman's gate. Okay, that's back the way we came. Wouldn't that be a biography, not an autobiography? Um, well, I'm I'm a, like a, a split being, right? Oh, so okay. Consequently, as there's as there's so many ages of lives inside of me, 
Um, no. <laughs> uh. right, let me open up this door. Oh shit, that spawned a bunch of enemies. Um, get to work. My brave, brave friends. We just run through the middle of them. Wee. Right, I'll stand here. There we go. Being good. Being a nice little distraction. Okay, this door looks like it will take us up towards where an evil boy lives. Travel to the lights war room. Nice. Seems oh. Oh. Okay, here we go. It's a boss fight. Can I leave it? Nope. Damn it, Connor, I should have been on your side of the door. Um, <laughs> oh, well, I'm about to level up, so that's fine. Wait, no, you didn't get the XP before, did you? Uh, no, I didn't get the XP for being in the escape menu, but oh. I think I would get the XP for being the other side of that door. I don't think it would stop it, to be honest. Round we go, running around. Spinning around. Having a 14. Grand old time. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to level up, yep. Are you close to 14 yet? Uh, not even close. I'm, I'm basically half a level behind you and slowly falling further behind. How? Well, I guess you're not chugging the dodge potions that I am. That's your biggest <laughs> I think that must be it, yeah. That's the 5% wealth advantage I have. Um, my parents' inheritance. I mean, it actually is. I, I made the potions on my other character. There we go. Level up. Um, yeah, let's do decreased damage from nearby people. Turn myself into a tank. A bone tank. Yeah, I'm actually... I don't die that quickly. I can just loiter here. I will say that the game unfairly summoned my skeletal warriors without my consent, um, but that's fine. Not level 20 yet? Um, no, we're 14, so we're five levels, sorry, six levels away, I can't count. Uh, six levels away. Oh shit, did I just accidentally hit that tower? No, I didn't. Good. Good. I don't want to hit Lethal Shrine. I think it gives all my attacks criticals, and um, let's be real, we don't want that. That was not bad. Alright, that was glorious success. It's a nice little throne chair. Let me destroy that. Alright, I guess I'm we go this way. To walk through the enemy. Oh dear, that's a lot of people. Do -do 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 -do. Let me just run around. See if there's some loot. Oh dear, that's a grumpy boy. Jeez, that is a very grumpy boy. Well, he's on the ground. Aha, and he's dead. I guess the light room has to be this direction. Oh, vampire bats, very nice. Dangerous little buggers. And bunch of ghouls. Gosh, I'm doing a splendid job of helping my party out by just running towards the enemy. <laughs> I feel like your technique would probably get you killed a lot if you did this in WoW. Um, well, I think in WoW you can now just buy WoW bucks, uh, which is the method I'd use to just win. Ah. Um, I think that was their biggest, latest thing. Of you, you can just buy gold, if I remember correctly. So what you're saying is that WoW now functions like a mobile game. Well, it kind of has done for a little while, but yeah, uh, that appears to be the direction they're going in. 
I will say I'm quite happy that I haven't even died once yet. That's uh, quite the fun experience. Right, there we go. Fight complete. Which way do we go? I guess left looks... Nope, left is not the way. Left is not the way. I'm not ready yet. That's what you're meant to do in the maze. You're always meant to go left. Okay, right. That's the light wall room. No, I don't want to be inside it. Shit. Shit. I need more time. Connor, I'm inside the boss room by myself. Okay, we're coming. Oh, we're on the way. I've glitched my way inside of the boss door. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm uh, in the fight or out of the fight. Broken. Oh, no, no, we're in. Cool. I'm neither. I've now been forced <laughs> in. Oh, it's the How dead moment. How did you manage that? I don't know. I just walked into the door and dashed a bit, I guess. I need more time. Just quickly uh, see if I can... That was a... sweet. Ooh. Not bad. Ooh, what if I do a... What if I do a... Do, 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 do? That was not bad. Oh, jeez. That's a powerful angry werewolf. Yeah, that, that's doing a lot of damage. That's oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. stuck. That's not good. I'm no, out. You'll I'm be out. Fine. You'll be fine. Look at these bone sorcerers doing a splendid job back here. Oh, Mm. Ah, just had a nice sip from my drink. Um, I think I might stand in this corner over here and go make myself a, a rum and coke. Um, <laughs> I mean, is there anything stopping me? It's not like you need my support. No. Nope. Oh, God. You know what? Let me let me do that. I'm gonna go sit in the corner. I'm gonna see if I can AFK this uh, entire fight. Um. Yeah, I'll try not to die. Um, good luck. I'll see you in a moment. Chat, spam bone noises, and scream if I die. Because that would be awkward. <laughs> oh, wait, did we kill the boss? Nope. Oh, is it still alive? Where the boss? Oh, it just disappears and then comes back. Okay, I guess there's no point in that. You've done a splendid job. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. I got stunned. Well done. Chug my heal potions. I cannot be stopped. I cannot be stopped. Look at me go. Okay, it disappeared again. Jeez, this boss. I must say, I do enjoy when the live chat tries to make bone noises. Ow. That was pain. I'm not ready yet. No, the boss is all my oh the boss disappeared again. It's got damn boss. Oh, I think they're dead almost. Hey, we did it! Hey. They got pants. They're not pants. They're trousers, you silly game. Ooh. Right. Um, I guess that's us done. Is there no done, loot yeah. chest? Was there? I need more. Was it doesn't just... seem like it. I think it was just what they dropped. Yeah. Okay. Fine. That's okay. We can take that. Back to the town we go. We are furiously boning. Look at chat. Okay. <laughs> Stop furiously boning for a second um, and take a brief, brief respite from furiously boning to uh, like the stream. Um, no, I'm joking. Uh, Dizen has to go. Uh, thank you very much for your time in the party, Dizen. Um, oh, I was going to remove you as party member, but I can't. Right. Next person on the social list. Who have I got on the friends list who's online? This person, I guess. I guess 
or I actually have a bunch that I need to accept. Uh, I'm going through them now. Oh, wait, can you invite people to the party? I can, yeah. Oh, well, I guess that makes it easier then. Sure, you invite someone of seeming competence. Whoa. It's better to say E. If I press E, it opens up the emote window. <laughs> God, there's PvP. I wonder if I could get AFK PvP experience. I've got George. Is George another necromancer? It seems like the most Every, popular. Everyone's a bloody necro. They are so a necromancer. Oh my god. Uh, Uri just says drop rates must be increased for parties because I've gotten so many uniques from this. Yeah, it it's it seems that the drops are all scaled across party members. So if a if an item's dropped in one location, it drops for everyone. It gets very weird. Um, right, I guess where do we go now? Um, I've got like a tithe collection mission, which isn't that bad. Although there's a quick mission up here, which I'm I think gives experience. Yet. It takes like five seconds. Do 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 do. And doesn't require any combat. The new militia recruits. Do do do. Go to the militia recruits. Give them a little cheer. That was not bad. That'll make them happy. Thanks. I hope that. And then we're bam. We get a thousand experience. That's like ten units or something. Oh, but most importantly, I get some where are they herbs and i can use those herbs to make a never fawns potion time. Do, do, do. around we go bony boy i i honestly think the fastest way to level might just be running through the world because the enemies are generally easier to slay um so I Maybe, might just yeah. lead you in a direction where I know there's going to be a plentiful supply of weak, relatively easy to kill enemies. Um, I think that will probably be the most efficient way to do this. So, generally speaking, down here, which I think there should be a quest that will take us over there as well. I'm not ready yet. Might as well grab some experience from doing the main quests. So, hello, George. Hope you're doing well. Yes. Right. Well, Something about are. tithe collecting. Oh, wait, that's off to the left. Okay, oh, right. we're not doing that. I need more. So, time. I will grab the main quest. Do do do. Spiff the lich. Spiffy. Uh, well, I, I mean, I'm not really playing necessarily a lich. I need more time. I'm playing the ultimate. I'm playing CEO. It's a new kind of build. I'm working, working on it myself. But the father's light can be sought Trava. penitence and faith. Talk your thing faster, please. I must give him law. Oh, by the way, what did you think of um, the uh, uh, the game's law in the brief brief time you've enjoyed it? I received a report Me? Of yeah. I haven't seen any of it. I've, I've just been gaming. Been skipping the cutscenes. How are you meant to understand the critical law? Did you it at least watch? Seem like it affects the game at all. <laughs> Did you not watch the cutscene at the start before you even opened up the game? The glorious cutscene, which tells you about, um, what is it? Uh, Lilith being resurrected. Who's Lilith? Um. Uh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> She's like this. She's like this person, right? And she's she's a single mother, um, and she believes in harsh love, tough love, actually, a lot of tough love. Doesn't ring a bell. Okay, that's fine. It'll be okay. <laughs> ah, George is here. Lovely. George is here to support me. 
and protect me from oh frost wings. They sound fun. My my game is broken. Your game's broken. How? Well, every everybody in our party is all you. That's that's good. No, now they're all George. They're all George. Everyone is George. Okay, now they're back to normal. No. Okay, it's, I think it's to do with proximity. If you guys are close together, yeah, then it breaks it. It's fine. Oh yeah, I need to chug my consumable, don't I? There we go. Oh, there we go, some wargs. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Oh, there's a little world event here. They're always good for experience. Uh, but yeah, my main goal is just gonna be to kite enemies into everyone else to actually do the fighting. And luckily, I think, yep, I've just joined a wave defense. So that is definitely going to be kiting focused. Ooh. Right, AFK and watch as the enemies come to us and they get farmed for experience. Lovely jubbly, perfectly balanced. Mm. Um, okay, we've got some chat descriptions of who Lilith is. Lilith might be a Karen. She's got huge tracts of land. Um, Lilith is bay. Still would smash. Um, single mother. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so um, I hope that... I might be focusing on the wrong parts of the law. <laughs> big, big woman lady. Uh... Potentially with negative ulterior motives, uh, provides tough love to to solo adventurer looking for a good time in a land of sanctuary. I mean, the land is actually called Sanctuary. That's the name of the world. Ah, oh. well, like the the world that we're in is called Sanctuary. Yeah, this is called Sanctuary. Okay. Yep. I'm, I'm not Does joking. Really seem like a sanctuary. Level 15. Yeah, it's kind of going through a rough phase at the moment. Um, yeah. Maybe once upon a time, but not right now. Yeah. Oh, shit. I got stunned. Yeah. Right, looks like we are almost done. Just got to slay the remaining... Friendos. Lovely jubbly. Event complete. That's a bunch of experience and money. Right, there's a dungeon just up from here, actually. So, um, I think if we just do the dungeon, and by do the dungeon, I mean I'm just going to enter the dungeon and I'm going to go get myself a cold drink because uh, it's a bit warm in my office. Someone says I love strong women. Look, Lilith is a progressive progressive individual who doesn't need any actually i think she does need assistance because the plot is kind of her going around like resurrecting her children I, actually does she need assistance no she's just bringing she's helping her children out she's elevating her children in society so that's nice right um i'm gonna go stand here in the dungeon oh that looks a bit dangerous so i'm gonna stand here i'm gonna go get myself a drink uh, I'll be back in a second, gamers. Chat, bone noises. Actually, I can pop on some immense gaming music. Um, gaming. Action gaming, here we go. Back in a mo. Crank up that gaming noise there. All right, Connor, you have the helm. Good luck. I'm not a streamer. I don't know what to do. Chat, what am I, what am I supposed to do? How do I entertain?
get luckily it's much harder to get banned on youtube than it is twitch <clears throat> look i'm entertaining you by making the experience bar go up in a hot tub <laughs> even if i did you guys wouldn't be able to see it i've actually been in a hot tub this entire time do, do me and spiff sound similar to you guys i feel like we sound completely different I've actually never played a Diablo game before. It's really easy to kind of understand what's going on. There's, there's not much. You just let, right click, left click, one, two, three, four, and that's all we've got. My, my mic has got a, a cover on it, so even if I licked it, you guys probably wouldn't hear anything. My cover, I mean, like it's got a um, a windsock. Yeah, Spiff is in the bathroom right now. Well, uh, he's getting a drink, but he probably is also going to the bathroom. Lies, slander, you had no idea I was doing any of that. Um, I didn't just... know, but I kind of assumed. <laughs> right, I'm going to find some, like, uh, relaxing... Your experience bar has gone up by quite a bit. Oh, good, good. Let me find some relaxing mood music. Um... Oh, <laughs> welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Bobby Bones. What? This Very guy just good. healed. They can heal. They can. That's right. The enemies can heal. That's not fair. Just pop Bobby Bone there. Ah, you've tuned in to BBC Radio Diablo 4, where we are gaming now. Gaming comes in many forms and shapes, and in many surprising fashions. This is the chillest of vibes. Seduction time is what some people are saying. Bobby Bobby legally cannot cannot agree or disagree if this is seduction times. Now what we're going to do is just walk around and find all of this money on the ground. Ooh, look at that. Some entrails. You stinky. Right over here. Oh, we've got some uh, some like pots and pans and stuff, some glowing light. It's nice just to stop and smell the roses sometimes as you dungeon around. Ooh. Oh, I stepped in that. Oh. <laughs> Weird. With corpses. <laughs> what a being of gr Gree Shrine? It's. Mother, is that you? Oh my. They found where they finally buried Bobby's mum. Underneath the Gree Shrine. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there, there she is. You know, she was a bit of a looker. A shame I can't bring her. Actually, it's not a shame I can't bring her back. She was probably a, a loving yet stern woman. Oh, slain militia. Okay. Ah, you have a sh shield for me. Remember, it's not robbing if they're already dead. Ah, you look the same. Ah, I'm getting attacked. Save me, my minions. Yep, they did. Okay, evil vengeful spirit solved. Oh, there's some more money. Lovely. Oh, there's enemies that way. Don't go that way. Very bad. Oh, more money. Lovely job. Oh, and <laughs> more money just for me. 
<laughs> just for little Bobby. Little Bobby B. Bobby Boom. Interact with the chest. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, two-handed short sword. Oh, we don't need that. Oh, I guess here's the door where the final boss fight is going to be happening. Um, we don't want to be near that. There's going to be an evil fight going on in there. Very bad. Very, very bad indeed. Now, I'm going to go myself a nice cold drink. Mmm. I'm just relaxing. Oh. We are... How many hours in? We are two and a half hours in. And I have not killed anyone yet. Which puts me at a higher moral fibre than everyone else here. That's right. You watching at home. You haven't. You've probably done worse than Bobby. All Bobby has done is healed those around him. He's redistributed the wealth into his own pockets. And he's even brought some old friends back from the dead, which, you know, I haven't seen you doing that to anyone. So, he just he's just having a good old vibe. Hello, George. Look at, that's one of our lovely busy workers over here. Doing a splendid job, clearing out dungeons. Look at them go. Look at them go. Oh, splendid work. Bobby doesn't need to busy himself to that. Instead, he can enjoy this nice stone circle we have here. How very interesting. And if we like, we can even have some peace by just dismissing our... Uh, no, I can't do that. We... I was going to... um. Get rid of all of my my skellies, but I don't need to do that. Connor, go go work. Don't spin around, you potato. Um, oh, someone also donated five dollars for Connor. Um, this is for you. Do it, lad. What? Do what? What did they say? Uh, get you XP, I guess. Get me XP. Okay, okay, good, good. Go do that. Um, and. Uh, Gitano uh, Butera also gave ten dollars. Thank you very much. You generous sausage. Ooh, emeralds. Lovely. I'll take that. Let me just pick that up. Add it to my collection. Money, money. Ooh. That looks like some kind of enemy you guys all just killed. Lovely stuff, but kind of a bit too exciting. So I'm going to walk away from that. Bobby's a non-confrontational being, so just he he was taught to be respectful to those around him. Take Connor's money. Connor, could you drop money on the floor? Actually, no, you can't. But what you could do is you could trade me items and then I could sell the items. <laughs> but that's about it in terms of Connor giving me money. Not that you even need money. Oh, level 16. Woo. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't really need money in this game. Uh, none of these are particularly useful. But I will grab... Skeletal Mage Mastery. Uh, now nah, let's just decrease the damage I take. Lovely jubbly. Oh. We can see your level. Yeah, it's right here. It's level 16. How many cups of tea have you had so far today? I've had about six cups of tea. It's quite a warm day, so you don't want to drink too much, else you can, you know, accidentally like melt yourself a bit six cups of tea mm. Connor, it's almost six in the in the afternoon wake up cup of tea have additional cup of tea after i've finished the first cup of tea in bed because like you get out of bed let georgie out make the cup of tea go back to bed lie down check that everything isn't on fire then once that's done you get out of bed get changed go make another cup of tea then you go have a shower actually wait no you do shower and then get changed um and then there's an additional cup of tea then dog walk and then after dog walk cup of tea and then i had lunch and so after lunch i was out a cup of tea uh, and then i think there's another cup of tea in there somewhere before i started my stream and then there'll probably be about two more cups of tea this evening because it is getting very warm so I don't know, maybe three more if I turn the AC on. Um, yeah. Is any of it so iced? You never no. have to drink energy drinks. Because you have copious amounts of caffeine throwing you, flowing through your blood. Well, I, I don't need to drink energy drinks, Connor, because unlike 
unlike, I mean, I don't mean to be derogatory, the slave interns in my party, I don't have to expend any energy. <laughs> True. Um, I exist to to observe, and observing this world is what I'm doing. You could even just sleep all the time and get your skelly boys to carry you around. I mean, some of them can even levitate, so they could probably just, like, make me fly around. I don't even know why. Why doesn't the game let them just, like, pick me up a bit? That would be wonderful. Um, I guess we have to go this way next. Not that I necessarily need to get involved, but I, I will stand nearby. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you've got to come over by me kind of area. What? Let me know once you kill the final boss so I can go in and pick up the looty drops. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I believe in you guys. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Team Bone Boys. Team Bone Boys. Team... God, these health bars are not synced well at all. <laughs> They're just like little rubber bands. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are definitely not all dead. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's weird because the locations are fine. Like, like on screen... Yeah, they but update enough. The yeah. health bar isn't. That seems like the easiest part to keep updated. Is it messing up for you as well, or is it? It is, yeah, settings? just every now and again. Okay, so they it's, not even, it's not even the fact that I chunked down the graphic settings for a laugh. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Is there an auction house? Um, I don't think so. There is a... Uh, because you can't trade unique items, but you can trade rare items between players. And you can do that in a guild as well, which is very useful. Um, it's one of the best reasons of being in a guild, because rare items can be as good as unique items, and their effects can be as good, which means that, you know, maybe you're a rogue and you really like some of the stats on this. I mean, it's, it's terrible, but, you know, you get the idea. A uh, reminder for everyone here to drink Yorkshire Gold. There you go. That's a $2 donation from Abstract Element to remind you that you now must legally like the stream, salute the queen, uh, when she's dead. Shit. Um, I mean, you can still do it. <laughs> uh, Freudian slip. Freudian slip. No, Her Majesty. Uh, wait, no, by queen, I mean Camilla. Uh, uh. It's not the same. It's not the same. Um. <laughs> Wee. Spin, 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 spin. Uh, Spliff is the T in team. Exactly. And the M stands for minion. Um. <laughs> A team is made up of one T-boy and three minions. That is the optimal, optimal party size. You guys are making it quite far towards the end. Oh, basic shield. Got to pick that up. Don't mind if I do. Oh, a chest. Oh, money. Do, 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 do. Level 16. Congratulations, Connor. Well done. Well done. Mm, that's pretty good. Take that. Don't really need any of these. Did you play any of the other Diablo games? Uh, I've, I haven't actually played an exact Diablo game. I've only played like Diablo adjacent games, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I enjoyed them a lot, but you know. The only oh. game like this I've ever played was one on the Ooh. PSP when I was a kid. Event complete. Did we just do it? Oh, no, we didn't. You just killed some stuff like that. You played, what, did you play this game on the PSP? No, no, no. What on earth has happened to me? You're just standing still for me. Yeah. Oh, you hit the conduit shrine. You turn into, like, a ball thing. If you right-click, you, like, jump. Okay, well, it's, it's over a, now. Yeah, it's a very temporary <laughs> effect. Uh, do, 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 do. I think you might be near a boss room, maybe. Because we've got a healing well here. So keep it up, guys. I don't think I've ever caught one of your streams before. Well, welcome, gaming guy. This is, um... It's only on YouTube. Because Ooh, YouTube that's is... that's the boss. 
Good, right. You fight that blood bishop. And I want to see if I get the XP, despite not being in the room. And so the room would be there. Okay, right. We don't go near. I'm, I'm stuck. You're doing great. Don't worry. I keep getting stuck in the bosses. It's happened multiple times now. Well, they have kind of like grapple attacks and such. How are you liking Diablo 4? Um, oh. I, I mean, I, I haven't got much to say about the combat. Um, Can I get a heal? I'm I'm not going in there, Connor. I'm sorry. That's uh, actually maybe I should. Uh, no. That, what would Barry Bone do? Barry Bone would not go into there. He would definitely not go in. He would definitely not go in. So, sorry. We'll just uh, chill here. Doing great. I believe in you. Let me hit you with a look. Life might might be hard you might be working in a hostile environment but just know that I will always have your back from a safe distance <laughs> <laughs> oh dear uh, Clockwork Albra says, Do you still have a picture of the Queen by your monitor? Also going to be listening to the stream while committing crimes in RimWorld. You and AA got me playing it. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Um, I do actually have a picture of the Queen behind my monitor, but it's 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 actually it's, it's actually a work... I actually have a work of art of the Queen behind my monitor. Um, it's a very, very nice work of art. Connor, what do you think of my giant my giant Queen that I have? Yeah, it's, it's a lovely bit of art. Yeah, it's a fun bit of art. Um, it's by uh, Chris Levine. Uh, it is a bright pink picture of the Queen with her eyes closed. And as you all know, art is a scheme of lowering your tax. And it is doing a wonderful job. Um, I can tell you that much. Ooh. How are you doing with that combat in there? Is it going well? You're almost done with the boss? Almost. Almost good. She's right down low. Alright, if she's right down low, I'll now enter the room so I can guarantee I get experience. Alright, I'm in. I'm here for the final second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's and I get my experience. Over. Lovely. Good stuff. <laughs> yep, I did my job. I served my time behind the door. Alright, that was some good loot. What did we get? Rare wand. Hmm. You seem nice. 26 intelligence. Oh. Plus one rank on corpse tendrils. Well, I don't have that, but evade grants increased movement speed. I'll take. Increased healing received. And eh, don't need any of that. Cool. Right, I guess. How do I leave the dungeon again? T. It's, well, well, T takes you back to the town portal. Yeah, T takes you back to the town. Um, if you go to the map. And go to the entrance. You can leave. Ah, that. that works. Oh, that's so much easier. Thank you, Connor. Yeah, because we're gonna we, we'll be able to level up faster by doing world events than necessarily dungeons. Although I really did enjoy the fact that I I basically saw one enemy in that entire encounter. <laughs> um, right, this way. Oh, there are some ghouls. Just gotta walk around those. Don't want to fight any of them. That could be bad. Oh, run around. I've, I've basically just been stacking as many like damage resistance stats as possible, um, and it's it's working out quite good. Also, my fawns appear to just mean that the enemy hits me and then they just kind of die. Big oh, fan of can you actually just press E and you leave? That's even easier. Oh. Gosh, it's almost like they designed like this. Four ways to do everything in this game. <laughs> yes, you can either press the very quick and easy hotkey, or you can navigate through five menus. The choice is yours. We won't explain to you the easy way. <laughs> Work it out yourself, <laughs> you fuck. You paid ninety pounds to play this game three days early. Oh dear. Oh, actually, wait. We also did get something else for paying for this game early. Are you ready, Connor? What did we get? Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay, look at me. Look at me. I'm about to show you. This is what you also spent your money on. 
You ready? Yeah. An emote. That's probably a good use of that money. Yes. Bobby's very happy that you spent this money. <laughs> oh, God. All right, into the, um, into the cellar we go. Quick little XP farm normally, these little bad boys. Oh, shit, stuck on the train. All right, into the doorway we go. Stand back. Oh, there we go. Mm. Oh, got to make sure to chug a healing potion at the right time. God, I'm just not losing health at all. This is nice. This is so easy. Oh. oh, what's this over here? Skeleton. He's not having a good time. Other skeletons, they're not having a good time. Bunch of booze. We could, could be drinking that. That guy's definitely not having a good time. Where's that boss? Oh, there he is. He's almost dead. And we get experience. Lovely. Ooh, and a level double. Poison resistance. Oh. Do, 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 do. Ah. Right. Out we go. Well, this game full price is £70. Oof. That's it's an expensive brutal. game. I mean, I know, like, the pound's not doing good, so the game's got more expensive, but £70 is... That's a lot of money. I mean, there's definitely, like, £70 worth of gameplay in this, if you really like this kind of genre of game, but let's just say I'm not putting money on the fact that Connor's going to be playing this game after today's stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be playing SnowRunner. That's what you've been doing this forever. Like, you can't just say, oh, I'll be playing SnowRunner. Because that's all you do. That's why I'm going to be playing it. It's because that's all I do. Oh. Hey, Connor, how's Opia 2 coming along? Sorry, can't respond. I'm SnowRunning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, infested mill. In we go. I'm about, to, I'm about to hit level 17, which is good. I just tuned in. How is he doing? Diablo 4 is already perfectly balanced. Um, yeah, effectively, what I do is I go from area to area, and then my party members go in and they kill everything, and I get all of the experience. Uh, this means if I'm standing next to them, I get all the experience. If I'm in the other postcode to them, I still get the experience, um, which has allowed me to achieve level 16 without killing anything because I unbound all of the attack keys, which is pretty effective. SnowRunner, that's where failed Rust players go, right? Oh my god, Connor, you've been read like a book. <laughs> you've, you've just been read. How did they know? Connor, I'm noticing you're not you're not in the uh, cellar su supporting the team. I've, I've just come in. They, there were so many ghouls outside. I don't know how there were so many. You shouldn't have engaged those ghouls because we need those ghouls for experience. You were meant to go past them and then when you're lord I and savior... I couldn't get through them. Uh, excuses! You have a dash attack. You have the ability to dash. Oh, I could have dashed, actually. You're right. Yes! Mm. Just not good enough. You can't get the staff these days, can you? You can't. I'm disappointed. Right, let me take... Um, Death's Embrace. I will say I like I like some of the naming schemes in this game. Like, um, Serration uh, gives a... Uh, basically, the description of the ability is Your bone skills have 0.5% increased critical strike chance. I always like my bone skills getting in increased oh powerful stuff is that good oh plus six forms ah more forms more good why not can i even see what my forms are do 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 forms 104 okay so when an enemy hits me they take 104 damage which i think is enough to do quite well Do, do, do. 
right, we got to go. Oh, stay in miniature. And jump. Bunch of ghouls, run away. Very skilled in boning. Yeah, I mean, like, they, they say that if you like the stream, your bone skill also increases by 0.5%. I'm just saying. It's, uh, it's, it's part of my, my hit course. Bone skill in you. <laughs> Ooh, a shrine. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I, I feel like that just... could be the name of more than one course. Yeah, but yeah, it's it doubles. It's it's got like a wide-reaching potential audience. All right, there we go. Um, oh, there appears to be some kind of like potential house here. Maybe it's got enemies in it. Yeah, it's full of enemies. Okay, well, if I just stand here and let them punch me, they will all eventually die. There's nothing inside of this house. Other than death. So that was good. Uh, I just got an achievement. Kill 20 enemies with critical strikes within 10 seconds. Which I I haven't done Is any critical strikes. Party? Yeah, it's tied to the party. So when the party achieves the achievement, I get the bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I get renowned from you guys just killing people. It's brilliant. Did I just hear a cow noise? I need more time. Just heard a cow. No! You bastard, Connor! <laughs> I knew it! No, I, it, the cow was not me. The cow the was you, okay. Was. The duck was, okay. DK, thank you very much for gifting 20 memberships. That's very nice. If you received a membership, go and go and watch the members' videos. Uh, you have access to them now. I strongly recommend them. They're very funny. Now, if only I had my Ken Fandango set up. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm not explaining what Clem Fandango is. Uh, uh, that's an inside joke. Sorry. I mean, Clem Fandango is a, is a public public character. I'm not ready yet. Right, where is... I think there should be like a, a basement over here somewhere. Oh, more ghouls. Lovely. Are we in a mine? Uh, no, we're near some mines, but now we're in like a graveyard. The Silent House, level 17. Ooh. Spooky. Spooky. Okay, there's literally nothing here other than this house. Well, I mean, that was still effective. Still got some uh, sweet old loot. And experience. Do 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 do. Do do do. Oh, there's a scaly boy. Oh, basic wand. What do you do? Hmm. That's basically the exact same. So that's that's useless. I'm just walk past you, interact with you, run past these skeletons. You're doing a great job, Connor. <gasps> dungeon! I found a dungeon. At least I think I have. Wow, yeah, okay, this is... Whoa, boy, there's a lot of ghouls coming their way to you. Good luck. You're going to have a grand old time, don't worry. <laughs> Ooh, look Right, this way. Look at you go, Connor. You're doing great. Wow. I've done it. Um, 0 4 a.m. There are many cows, though. I don't think there are many cows in this game. I haven't seen a single cow. All right, do you want to do... We might as well do Dead Man's Dredge. There's literally no negativity to this. Oh. Necromancer minions inherit 30% of most stats. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know.
Right, um, I'm gonna do my signature strategy of uh, walk until you guys see an enemy and then stand still. Okay, standing still. There we go. Mm. Uh. I wonder if, um, oh god, I have an idea. It's a very silly idea. <laughs> Let's see if I can just open up an additional game and run it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me quickly go into Diablo settings. Options, FPS, increase to 60. So even when it's in the background, we still run at 60 FPS. There we go. Now let us, um, what's a low intensity game? Cookie Clicker. Cookie Clicker is quite low intensity. Oh, we're doing a splendid job. Right, let me um quickly open up a new new game capture. <laughs> game Oops. capture. Uh, I'll just get this bad boy set up here. This is what Diablo's new gameplay looks like. So, um, as, as long as I can still gain experience, and we can tell by looking at that bar go, I should be able just to... Yep, the bar is moving. I can see the experience bar moving, despite the fact that I'm now playing a different game entirely. Let me quickly turn on uh, my... We system. can't see it. Oh, yeah, okay. You switch yeah, on. you can do, yeah. Yes. Oh, this is gameplay. I'll just quickly buy some factories, mines, and grandmas. Just quickly click those cookies. Oh, yes. This is um, a brand new kind of experience. Let me quickly plastic mouse, give milk a bonus. So we get 5,000 cookies per second. That's good. Very good. 50,000 cookies per second. I think, uh, what is this? Reindeer give twice as much. Well, we're not really in the holiday season anymore, so that's not particularly useful. But the mouse cursor gains plus 0.1 for each non-cursor building owned. Okay, so that gives us now 75 per click, which is very good. We're doing good, Connor. I'm, I'm almost at level 18, I'm noticing, on my second monitor. Um, that's very good. When you get kicked for inactivity, um, I moved. You can't see because there was another game over it, but I did just move an inch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, oh, there, there is also a way that you can use... Um, I've forgotten the name of the program, but you can use more than one mouse or more oh. than one input. So I could just have. So you well, could I mean, set I could up... just have a macro setup to move my character. Yes, exactly. Is the party dead? No, the party health bars don't work um, at all. Oh god, I just died. Oh no, I didn't. I leveled up. Oh, oh shit! I'm out of healing potions. Oh, I'm almost dead. Oh, okay, I'm alive. Oh, that was close again. Right, I will pick up. Uh, I guess Skeletal Mage Mastery, there we go. That was a good bit of leveling up I did. I need more time. Let me progress further into the dungeon for some money. Oh, let me just hide Cookie Clicker for a second. Is that Dublé good? No. Ooh, scrap of paper. There we go, very effective. In older Diablos, you had a range limit for experience. I mean, they have a they have a range limit too for experience. It's just very generous, is how I describe it. Exceedingly generous. 
Right, I will now AFK here. This seems like a good location. Alright, uh, let's go for that. Mines are twice as efficient. How much are I getting from mines? 94 per second. That uh, would be more efficient. Ah, plus one click per second per two grandmas. Oh no, mines gain efficiency. Now I think the mega drill is is the upgrade. Lovely stuff. Beautiful black screen. Look, come on. I'm a premium streamer here. <laughs> Steam achievement there, very good clicker form. Ah, lovely. I'm your favourite viewer. That's nice to know. <laughs> Random viewer. <laughs> you just came that if you didn't know. Mm. Yeah, the first person to say, well, not even that, it's not even the it's first like person. It's like calling shotgun. No, the next person to say it is the favourite viewer. It continuously rotates. It's on like a claim by claim basis. Oh. Yeah, I generally panicked early when I leveled up because I thought I died, but no, it was just um, <laughs> just the game's UI temporarily changed. I was like, ah, that's death. Right, farms are twice sufficient. Bam. Very good. I suppose I should probably get some curses too. There we go. Oh. I am the favourite. Well, I suppose Raphael Villanova did is a T supporter and has been for 21 months, so I guess that's like um, a, an additional... You get it for an extra two seconds, you get to be the favourite viewer for like two more seconds than the next person. Uh, peak Diablo 4 gameplay looks way better than Diablo 3. Yeah, I really like what the developers did with the graphics. I think it was inclusive to adding grandmas to appeal to an older age demographic. Um, and there's a lot of mines. Um, in both the, the corporate tycoon aspect of the game and in the actual dungeon crawling aspect of the game. Both both feature featured good good mining levels. Uh, Mum said it's my turn to be the favourite viewer. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Can I... Uh, factory? They make... They do make good cookies in a factory. Um, can we go for the grandma? I, surely the cursor build is, is quite accurate. All right, there we go. We got a lot of mouses now. A lot of mouses. Good gosh, I leave from passive income and come back to Cookie Clicker. Look, this is the passive gameplay. We're just <laughs> literally, imagine you've got into a dungeon, right? And one of your party members has just like stood at the entrance whipped out his phone and like you're you're meant to be fighting the end game boss of the game and he's just like playing on his phone having a grand old time um getting those cookies he's he's doing great living his best life oh, oh georgie's asleep okay, next to me we're doing the boss fight now okay i'll go move myself over near the door so i get an increased bonus Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks like a good item. Is that a unique? Oh, no, it's a rare. Um, oh, that's so much better than my current one in terms of armor. Nab, nab, nab. Oh, are you good? More fawns is more good. Or is it the same amount of fawns? Eh, no, this one's better. All right. Oh, yep, you are doing the boss. Okay. Um, let me know when the boss oh, is almost dead. Oh, this isn't dead. the boss, sorry. Oh, this isn't We're the just boss. into it. Uh... A fight room, I guess. Okay. All right. I'll go back to my cookies. Uh, Is it like a sub boss? I don't know. Who knows? I'm gonna save up for 1.3 million cookies so I can upgrade my factories. Let Let me know when they're almost dead so I can walk in the room. Are they almost dead? Yeah, they're not. They're not bosses. He's right. Uh, yeah, we're almost done with it. Actually, I want to see if not being in the room I still get experience, so that's what I'll keep an eye out for. Just let me know once you've defeated him. 
They're all dead. Okay, I didn't get experience for not being in there, so I do have to I do have to at least walk in on the boss fight in the last second. That's okay. Alright, um I think you've still got some more adventuring to do, so I'm just going to um stay here and return to Cookie Clicker. So what do you think about the game? Are you gonna keep playing it after today? Yes, but I'll probably switch back to my actual character that I'm playing the story on, as opposed to meme character five thousand. <laughs> But I do love it. Spiff is double dipping, don't judge him. Look, we are we're potentially pulling from two different viewer categories here. And quickly uh move the cookie clicker aspect to like I could I could put the cookie clicker like here. There we go. There we go. Look, it's not too obstructive. This is like when XQC plays Subway Surfer and you you just want to not... Well, you want to just see the gameplay. Ooh, money. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still a level above you. Like, you only just hit level 18. Mm. Ah, two times the game. Did two you have boost. another boost on? Another uh, like an XP boost? Not on at the moment. No. I don't know. You were definitely earning more XP than me, though. Yeah. Well, at least were, but I am slowly catching back up. Well, I'm no longer using a potion, so. And every time I accidentally stray too far away from the party. True, yeah. I lose, like, that extra 10% buff. Is this hardcore or eternal? Um, this is softcore, but the exact same strategy would work on hardcore. It makes genuinely no difference at all. Because I'm not playing the game. Nova says, don't worry, I'm also playing a game while moderating the chat. Nova, you don't get to do that. Only I get to do that. <laughs> Only I am allowed to not do my job correctly. Now let me just quickly buy an upgrade. Grab more upgrade. Uh, yep, that seemed effective. So they give farms plus extra percent. So logically, we need some more farms. Here we go. Nice. Increased results. Back to Diablo. Ooh, giant sword. Nab. Reaping scythe nab. What have we got? Ooh, this is the first thing we can slot gems into. Up to a 6% chance to execute injured non-elites. Plus 14 in all stats. Uh, let's go for... Oh, it's two-handed. Uh, don't want two-handed. I don't want two handed. I want my fawns. Why have we got. I've got a Spanish woman singing to me now, I think. Maybe Italian, I'm, I'm not sure. She's got a very. very From relaxing what game? voice. I, I don't know at this point. Could be Epidemic Sounds, could be Diablo, could be Cookie Clicker. We need a third game. It's never been done before. Right, the passive grind of Cookie Clicker in one on one scene but then we could go even further beyond I don't even know what I could even open up that wouldn't just like destroy the potential FPS it's got to be another idle game of some kind surely I, okay what other idle games do I have I've got like adventure capitalist installed or something A spore galactic adventures now right, let me quickly download adventure capitalist There we go, job done, it's downloaded. It's only 27 megabytes. <laughs> Alright, I've made it so Adventure Capitalist um, is just on a tiny window. 
God, and it's just spamming me with microtransaction pop-ups as well. Oh my God, I forgot how much of a night this game is just malware. It is just literal malware. Um, all right, new source meme. I hope you're happy, chat. I do this for you. Buy more. Oh, here we go. Buy max. Gotta make some more money. Oh, got, got a reward for that, whatever that means. Good stuff. Alright, back to Diablo. Oh, we completed the dungeon. Did we? Oh, yeah, we did, yeah. You could have told me that, guys. <laughs> I, didn't, Jeez. I didn't even realize that was the. That I mean, was the boss. I must have it still was... got some experience because I'm on 52. Oh, I leveled up. Yay, level up. Yeah, it wasn't in a in a in a fight instance. Oh, cool. It was just in the dungeon. I didn't realize that we were finishing it. That's a good one. Have I got any upgrades I can sink points into? Uh, not really. All of these are useless. Right, Increase damage to distant enemies. All right, let me. Um, where about so you guys? Where did you fight the final boss? I guess. Uh, it was. Oh, uh, it's probably the really map. Way uh, too if far you keep going, keep going left. Okay. Who okay. was just down in that little cove? Peak gameplay. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think I found it. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, right. You know, this was this was where the this was the boss. Okay, right. So there wasn't any good loot. That's fine. No, they didn't drop anything. All right, let's leave the dungeon. Right, we are one level away. You've five different brain oh, stimulants in one stream. <laughs> <laughs> you might are you not entertained? This is peak Diablo gameplay. Oh, there's an event outside. More experience. Right, as this is our final level, I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna clean up the screens. Um, Cause this is the most important final level. And we can probably switch from royalty free relaxing music to like, um, victory, victory musics, victory top, victory by theme. Whatever that means. Right. Okay, it's it's now or never, Connor. The final challenge of many other challenges that we have been through today. We just need to make 53,000 experience and then I level up. Jesus, <laughs> that's a big jump. Oh, there was apparently an event inside the dungeon. Ah, it's fine, it doesn't matter. We got a new oh, event out inside here. inside of the dungeon. But there wasn't anybody to talk to, was there? I think there was potentially an additional, like, boss or something. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, speak to the survivors. There we go. Watch out, they say. Oh, and they, here come some enemies. If we keep all the survivors oh, alive. Them. Yeah, you got to protect them. Yeah. We've, we've got to protect them, Connor. Yeah, we've got to protect them. We, we've got to... Good job, Connor. You're doing a great job. Oh, no. They, they're getting some of them, Connor. I'm not sure I can... Do enough damage for this. I'm kiting, don't worry. I'm doing some a great job of kiting. God, you're almost oh. dead, watch oh, out. Oh, I'm stunned, oh, I'm stunned. Jeez, that wasn't good. A boss is coming in now as well. Yeah, um, I definitely can't do enough damage for this. <laughs> I think we might need some assistance for you, Connor. Oh, he keeps getting me. I'm so bad at dodging the dodging the uh, stun attacks. You just press space, It's not. it's not that bad. No, I just mean like noticing it and doing it. Okay, well, the good news is we actually just have to survive. So if we just keep alive for 18 seconds, we get experience. But yeah, the more you kill, the more experience I can get. Which, <laughs> as we know, is, is what... That's the important part. Let's not kid ourselves. Oh shit, I've got no potions. Oh. Oops. 
Don't worry, I'll come. I'll come revive you. Oh, oh! I just got stunned. I see. That's <laughs> what you mean by that annoying stun attack. Yeah. Now you it's can really enjoy. Annoying. <sighs> Glorious success. Ooh, sapphire. Nice. Money, money, money. What? You got stabbed again? I dodged it and I still got stabbed because I dodged into the stab. <laughs> yeah, well, that's gonna, that's gonna, yeah, you would die from that, wouldn't you? That makes good sense. It does make sense, but game broken, me game not bad. Broken. Be good at game. Yay, event complete. Oh, I got a, what was that, a lapis wand? Something like that. Oh no, I'm Ooh. out of inventory space. <gasps> a Dreamway Ring. Plus 10% maximum minion life. That sounds great. Like that. <laughs> Some kind of like, dagger thing. Right. And I guess I have to go over to the town. It's handing in the quest. will give me some experience. Spiff, why are you holding a sword? You're right. You're right. Why am I? I'm a pacifist. Put the sword away. I was taught that violence is never the answer. Instead, the answer is to stand. Stand for what you believe in. Gosh, I don't, I don't understand why this works as well as it does. Whee. Around in circles I go. Oh, it's almost like I'm fighting. A bunch of dudes wailing on me. Oh. Who doesn't want to get beaten off by a bunch of grey graying dudes? Um that's wonderful. Alright. Chest. Lovely. Oh, I've got really happy, chirpy music playing at the moment. It's kind of very inspiring. I feel like, um, like I'm Harry Potter on my way to Hogwarts. My bags Battle wand. Mm. Yeah, let me grab a battle wand. Ooh. Okay, I can have a wand equipped. That's what Harry Potter would have. So that he could ice a fool with his <laughs> sick magic spells. I don't understand why the wizards just didn't go to like the humans and be like, Hello, can we borrow a Glock? Just for like one day. Just give us a singular Glock. And um, it, could, it could save the world. Even better. Actually, wait, no, we didn't have them. I was going to say drone strike, but I don't think... Harry Potter's like set in the 1970s, so I don't think they had drone strikes back then. <laughs> <laughs> it was 1990s. 1990s. Uh, President Obama, the British are requesting you drone strike this man called Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Let me talk to the knights. What do you need? Do 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 do. Can I give me some experience? Yep, 4,000 experience. Good stuff. Uh, right, there is a quest over here which is pretty good. Which Unlock is, the waypoint as well. Yeah, I've done Are that, don't worry. I'm, who do you think I am? Me, I yesterday, forgetting to unlock, unlock it? <laughs> I, I did actually do that yesterday, it's very embarrassing. Um, no, I took a little side quest. Um, because it gives us some enemies to fight. Do, 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 do. Alright, onwards we go. Halfway through level 19. I'm just gonna stand still. I actually think this might have been faster if we used um, the tier 1 world. Because sure, we get 20% less experience, but we would technically be able to go through the enemies a lot faster. Um, uh, so maybe. You might be able to like get through dungeons at a greater rate, is my logic. 
Yeah, early on in the game. I guess later on in the game it won't, but early on it will. Yeah, I think later on in the game, once you have a very solid build, that's when you want to start going up to like World Tier 3 and 4 because you get increased item drop rate. Anyway, um, here's the... Um, There's so many ghouls over here. <laughs> yeah. They all respawned at the time that I was running through. I just realized there's a bunch of chains meant to be here because I'm playing on low quality settings. The dude is just like standing there and looking silly. There's also a <laughs> dagger meant to be plunged into him, but once again, we can't see that. Oh my god, Georgie's fallen asleep. Oh, she's being such a cute little, cute little corgus. <laughs> okay, we've got to go fight this woman. Um, she's over here. I think she turns into like a demon. But I have given only what was desired. Ah, my His lovely drink. Soul has been torn asunder by um, agony, Spoken Brit, do you think this would work for the whole game? I mean, yes. Unyielding. There's literally no reason as to why it wouldn't. Oh, we got a world event up above after this as well. So boss fight into world event. I say boss fight. Um, more like your Aja fight. Um, they're, they're better than boss fights because I'm the boss. Actually, no, this is a boss fight. I'm the boss. He's doing the fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, Connor, you're doing great as well. Oh, look at you go. Well done. Oh, Claymore. Maybe th that's how they should have killed Voldemort. Just a singular just a claymore. Just claymore. He crosses the bridge to Hogwarts and then just gets exploded. <laughs> An explosion in the film ends. <laughs> oh. oh, look, it's the same world event we just did, I think. Yeah, we just talk to the survivors and then they say, hey, oh. people are going to attack us. I recognize this. Oh. It's actually only one world event in the entire game and it's just a caravan over and just over again. Three peasants stuck underneath a caravan. Say so, that did you read um did you read the article the other day that came out about uh Bioware using AI to uh auto generate repeatable tasks? I mean that doesn't surprise me. It's gonna be like there's gonna be a miserable era of games coming up where we get half-baked AI technology creating some of the worst design decisions. Kind of like how we had that yeah. weird NFT era. Oh dear. Um, someone says, how come you only have two skills? Do I need- do I look like I need more than two skills? I think you'll find I'm doing quite fine. Quite fine indeed. If only there was a a statistic to tell me how many how many enemies actually I, I was gonna say how many enemies I've been near that have died but honestly no point oh. all of them can you dual wield shields I wish that would be amazing that would be the greatest I oh, I got got stunned by the annoying stun boys. Well, without even having... Oh, yes, event completed. Okay, I'm very close to leveling up. Very, very close. Ooh, that's a nice prize. We got some skulls. It's very fun. That's a good amulet. That's a very good amulet. Nabbed. And a shiv. <laughs> the survivor's text line is uh, I, I wouldn't have made it without you <laughs> or wouldn't have made it without you which is just hilarious for you because you just stood by the side and then the survivor <laughs> comes up to you and says you wouldn't have survived without you yeah look we, they wouldn't have survived without me bringing my local mercenary company to their aid okay true I'm yeah, a local okay. local hero <laughs> <sighs> God, is the Necromancer as overpowered as it was in the beta? No. Um, the main thing that they decreased is the like, the like automatic pathfinding. Um, so they no longer just like beeline in a crazy, crazy way. Okay, right. This quest is now complete, and I think this should be enough experience to finish me off. All right. 
take the dagger from the chest. Pull it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Almost. Okay, I need 800 more experience and then we've done 800. it. 800. 800 more. We are so close. 800 more and then we've proved that in just over three hours with a, a non, non-efficient non run, you can level up a character without fighting anyone. There we go. We are close. Just... An extra 500 more experience. Literally just like two more ghouls. I'm not ready yet. Where are those ghouls? Show me the ghouls. Right, there's got to be some down here. In the water. They always love hanging out in the water. I need more time. Bats! Bats will do it! This is it! We're gonna do it! Come on! We are so close! Okay, the furries! They will be the final one! Yes! We did <laughs> no it! No way. <laughs> Level 20, ladies and gentlemen. Without a single enemy slain. Do you get experience from blocking? No. You just get experience from enemies dying in your vague proximity. And if you do it when you're in a party, <laughs> you get <laughs> you get extra experience. Uh, that's 30 euros for you discounted. Thank you very much, George. Oh, we did it, guys. Um, what a grand experience. Well done. Oh. That was we did it. Not bad. I'm, I'm very impressed by how effectively this actually worked. Is level well 100 possible? Maybe. I, I do want to attempt it. But if we were to do it... Um, I, I need to finish the main story first, because when you finish the main story first, you can just rerun the end game dungeon over and over again, which provides good experience. So I think that would be the most efficient way of cheesing the game. Well done. So yeah, for the time being, I like it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, you enjoyed the grand experience of our adventure here today. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. Go into the comment section afterwards. Where's the build? Uh, honestly, you can you can do whatever build you like. You kind of hit the same result. <laughs> I mean, I put points into like corpse explosion uh, and imperfectly balanced so that my core skills. I haven't cast a core skill. I don't cast core skills. Don't cast bone splinters. It's unbound. So, yeah, do whatever you like. Do whatever you like for your build. It'll be fine. We're done, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much, Hanzo Shimada, for five pounds to say rattle me bones. Can you buy level 20 in the cash shop? No, but if you have at least one friend, you could probably do it in, in a few hours. Um, I don't need to get Diablo 4 now. I've seen the peak of the game. Yet yeah, it doesn't it doesn't get better than this. Some people would say that there are stories. Other would say that there's like a gameplay loop. Merely observation. That's it. There's observation. And self-improvement via other people's labor. So, um, from everyone here today, uh, from Connor, say goodbye. Bye. Uh, from George, say goodbye. And Uriah, you also have to say goodbye. And everyone in, in the guild, say goodbye. Say farewell, everyone. And finally, the greatest farewell of all. Our Lord and Savior, the designer of this hellscape, none other than Bobby himself. Farewell, Bobby. Farewell, you glorious, glorious bastard. Live long and prosper. Whatever. I'm done. I'm, do I'm gonna go make dinner now. <laughs> I hope you all had a lovely time. Capitalism, baby.